Okay. Let's go. All right. Welcome to Jujutsu Kaisen D&D. Jujutsu Kaisen D&D is a game, it's a tabletop RPG about Jujutsu Kaisen. It is based off of uh, the Class 1C uh, system, which you can find probably in the Episode 2 description, because I haven't got the sign-off on if I can use it or not, but whatever. Uh, it is based off of the 1C system, but we added some stuff to it, so it's more Jujutsu Kaisen. Jujutsu Kaisen D&D takes place uh, a few months before the start of Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, and we are going to follow our three main characters as they go on their goal to become Jujutsu Sorcerers. We open up the game with Justin, Justin's character, on a bus. Hi. Felix, bus. currently, after getting on a bus to head to Jujutsu Tech, well, not Jujutsu Tech, specifically, you are heading to Sendai Tech instead of Tokyo or Kyoto. Sendai Tech, as you know, is a less known, less popular, doesn't have a lot of as much money as Tokyo or Kyoto. This is kind of the Jujutsu Tech where you send people who aren't as talented or aren't from important families. They are... Oh, the community college. It's the community, Jujutsu as I have described yeah. it before, it is the community college of the Jujutsu world. So, as Justin sits on the bus, he is surrounded by uh, five people, five people who seem to stand out for some reason, and the other 20 or so kids on the bus are all wearing suits and ties. They look like the whatever that one guy whose whole thing was that he does curtains real well. Chi? Isn't that yeah. name? Ichijin? Ichi. Ichijin. Yeah. Yeah. They all, they don't Ichi. look like Ichijin, but he's dressed up like whatever Ichijin would be considered. They aren't Jujutsu Sorcerers, they are here just to assist Jujutsu Sorcerers. Justin, as Felix mm -hmm. gets on, as the bus that Felix is on keeps on going, you you start off in the city, and as you go from the city of, Sen of a city, a big city in Sendai, you slowly go further and further out until you head out more into the country. Once you hit the country, you open up into this small town, and as the bus is driving through the small town, you notice shops, restaurants, all type of homey, like, mom-and-pop type of shops. They aren't like, you don't see a McDonald's. It's more like a mom-and-pop type of restaurant and stuff like that. As you pass through those buildings, you kind of head out to the outskirts of town, and you all pull up on a Jujutsu Tech building. You all step out and are greeted to these doors. Now, Justin, would you like to describe Felix? Okay, um, Felix walks out of the bus with a big, with a big, like, with a big My, My Little Pony clipboard in hand. I'm um, just taking down, you, you just, fr just viciously scribbling down notes and stuff. Outfit-wise, he's wearing, outfit-wise, he's wearing a basic, just, um, he's just his basic school uniform with a big backpack on. He doesn't know. He doesn't know if this is an actual school. He doesn't know what he expects. He just wears his normal school un uniform outfit. Currently, he has dark skin, um, fluff, fluffy curly hair that covers one eye. All right. Other than that, he looks relatively normal. Hey, he has glasses too. Uh, that all you want to describe about him? Um, oh. You want to save his curse technique for a surprise later on? Yeah. All right. Uh, he, you wanna... And you can see, and, and the other students can probably hear him whispering to himself. Okay. As you, you see these two girls, they are kind of off on the side, and you notice that this one in, Turk, in uh, particular is kind of standing a bit close, kind of hiding behind this girl. Uh, and these three, they seem to be talking amongst themselves. Would you like to go up to any of these two? Uh, these groups? Mm -hmm. I, okay, I, um, Felix kind of shuffle, shuffles in, 
shuffles um in between the bit in between the um three guys at the front. Mm-hmm. Three guys at the front. But doesn't really know what to say. And he just kind of sits there, waiting to waiting for them to acknowledge his existence. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. You hear these three. They're kind of talking about not. In, they're kind of just talking about random stuff. Like you hear the girl go, "Wow, I can't believe we made it to yeah. Jujutsu. It's been House. Jujutsu Tech. It's been what? House. What? Completely <laughs> cut out for a second. I didn't hear anything. Okay, you can move your character and all that. Uh, you hear the girl. She is all. Oh, wow! I can't believe we've made it to do, do tech. I'm just like I'm just like hiding behind. I'm almost hiding behind these guys. Okay, wait. Am I still cutting out? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I so think you're cutting out for when you're saying, "Hey, I can't believe we made it to do, do tech." All right. Hang and on. I didn't hear I, anything else. I think it's because. Hold up. Where is it? Oh god. It's because of the music. There, am I cutting Damn off you, that now? Green bot. You betray okay. us. Green bot, come on. Alright. Uh you see this guy with the long hair. He notices you. Turns around and said, Hey man. Uh what do you want? Silent uh, type. Uh, oh. Felix oh. Felix quickly hides his um things in his pocket and he goes Me I uh I, I, I want nothing in particular. I'm just I'm just wondering about the the new kids and new kids, you three guys. Aren't you a new kid what, as what, well? What you what you're up to? I know it's very overwhelming to be here for the first time, you know. So I just want first, I just want to know how oh, you guys do it. Are you not a yeah. first year? Are you not a first year here? Uh nah, I mean, I'm we're all first years. Um I'm an ex I'm an ex um I may look like it just because, you know, I broke a couple rules, had to take the year back. Nothing big. Roll for deception. Nothing or big. Or whatever it but... is called. Hold up, hold up. Roll for what deception. Or whatever it's called. Um, you're you're still breaking up a little bit. God damn it! Okay, just roll for deception, because you are not a second year. <laughs> An incredibly two? high roll of two. Okay, hold up. He's gonna roll. Yes, two. Perception or whatever. Wait, what is perception based on? Is there perception in this? Perception. Yeah. What is it in here? This is very hard to understand you. Okay, hold up. It might be that I have, like, three things open at once. Okay, is that better? Can I can completely not hear you now. Okay, so the new thoughts so, all over the place. All right, I'm back. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. All right. He is going to roll intelligence to see what he gets. Mm-hmm. He sees your bluff. He just, yeah, no, you're okay. So you're a first year then, just like us. Ah. Ah. You All can right. call it that. He, um, Felix leans. Felix, Felix dashes to a tree and leans on it. You can call it that, anyways. But, um, um, just gonna say, in terms of experience, knowledge, and skill, basically a third year. All yeah. right, Mr. Third Year, what do we do from this point on? Because he kind of didn't uh, tell us anything, but just dropped us off. Uh, well, obviously, what we do first is... Kind of just looks around. Go I'm through going... that gateway, obviously. All Duh. right. And he, and he... Then lead the way. He's... First of all, Felix takes out his phone and starts recording everything, and 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 then he walks through the gateway. Okay, he whispered. You see this man whisper over to the girl. He's kind of a weirdo, isn't he? She goes, "Yeah, maybe, but we should 
respect him still. I'm I'm a respectable respectable. You can move your character. Member of society. You don't okay. have. You can move it whenever. You don't have to wait for me. All right. As hey, hello, hello. You they all follow behind you, including these two. As soon as you enter, you hear this Leo White Fang looking motherfucker. <laughs> he says, Welcome to Jujutsu Sendai Tech. Welcome, one and all. Yeah! <laughs> he like to jump to the air. Yeah! Alright, any reaction to seeing this man, this six foot tall, giant, burly man? Uh, Felix, uh, Felix is like, oh, oh, writes down, writes down quickly. So, wait, second attractive, um, sorcerer. How many of these, how many of these will I find? Is Yuki the only one? I don't know. I kind of expected all these guys to be old, old people like my grandma. He goes, and, that, and then he, yep. And nothing else. Okay. He goes. I am your principal of Sendai Tech. My name is Principal Gushiken. And I would like you, and he kind of gestures to the line of people, I'd like you to like to introduce the staff of Sendai Tech. And then you hear this tall woman, uh, this kind of just blank-faced woman, she goes... Uh, hello. I am your third year teacher. My name is uh, Miss Inari. It's nice to meet you all. Then she does a kind of courtesy bow. Then you see this little... Like, yeah? Like, it's just kind of high. It's just kind of like waves to her. Hi! Okay. You then see this little, like, at most, like four or five foot tall elderly man he goes hi my name is mr gushkin it's nice to meet you all okay so they okay so just like just like real school they have a bunch of they have a bunch of senile people working here and then you good see good to know it make me feel uh, more at home you see miss inari nudge him and go you didn't finish all right i'm the second year homeroom teacher nice to meet you you then see he, he, Felix looks over to the um rest of the girl. Yeah, because I'm actually a second year. I know that guy. We're like homies. We go way back. I saved his granddaughter and all. Yeah. He okay. You don't even have to roll. He just the guy the this guy you were talking to before. He just goes, yeah, sure, dude, sure. All right, the. <laughs> You see this big man that looks like he was a part of the military. He's got like, he's very, he's standing very tall, has like a crew cut. He says, my name is Mr. Ichihara. I am your first, I am your first year teacher. I'll be the one responsible for teaching all of you in these up and coming semester. Uh, he, um, feels kind of like, you're teaching me? All right. You then see to the next of him, the guy next to him, he says, Hello, my name is Mr. Kobayashi. I am the nurse. If you need help, call for me. Don't tr I wouldn't trust you with a pot of tea. You then see the man next to him go, Hi, what's up, everybody? Name's Masaru da Daigo. I am the second and best nurse here. It is good to see you all. If you need anything, just stop by my office. I want to trust you with an air particle. All right, then you see this woman with uh, tall, sleek black hair. She goes, Hi, everybody. I'm Nishi Minima. I am your. PE teacher, and I'll handle all the physical activities that you need, and I'll train you to be the best jujutsu sorcerer out there. 
<laughs> um, I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly move behind the, this guy and push him forward. <laughs> he just what the? F why are? <laughs> I'm not okay. I didn't do. I didn't sign up to deal with these weirdos. You're you a deal with them. sorcerer. What did you expect, dude? I expected a bunch of elderly people like that sh short guy. You know, a bunch of old people teaching me the ancient arts. You know, getting Mister Miyagi'd. Our... Oh, that guy, I'm, you know, Mr. Miyagi from Karate Kid. Yes, yeah. yes, I know, I know. All right, Second been... nerd. I swear been... to God, I saw, saw a crackhead look, look exactly like him. I do not trust any of them. All right, you then hear Principal Yushiken go, I, before we all send you off to your dorm rooms, I'd like to firmly apologize for having you all skip your first year semester. Usually you would not be showing up in September. You'd be showing up in April. And for that, I'm so sorry. And then you see all the teachers, except for the first nurse, the Yakuga looking motherfucker. He just, they all bow down and do a deep bow. They all stand and say, we are so sorry. We had to postpone. And you were not allowed to come to Sendai Tech. It was because of, we were understaffed and there were too many missions. I'm so sorry, but hopefully we can make it up for these next two semesters and the rest of your up-and-coming jujutsu career. It's okay. He then Don't says, worry. if you would, please, uh, Mr. I swear I know their names. Mr. Ichihari, would you please escort all the first-year males to their dorms and would miss and would miss Inari would you please escort all the girls to their dorms gender segregation 15 years behind <laughs> right down in my book all right you are all taken and led by Mr uh Ichihari to your dorm rooms you see this guy this guy and you. Do you talk to these two at all while you are on the way to the dorm rooms? Uh, no, because I've kind of realized, uh, crap, my bluffs has failed. So I'm just kind of staying silent. Silent. I'm kind of every since I I was trying to build up my own reputation with these guys, and my plan failed, and I don't have a backup one. All right. Other than try with new people. Okay. Speaking of new people, um, Mir, you, Jesse, currently passed yes. out of sleep in his dorm room. Um, he's like fast me. asleep, and you hear the sound of voices and people walking through the hallway. What would you like to do? Just keep on sleeping, or would you like to go out and see what's going on? Sir. Sorry, I have the cat thing. A oh. cat. Um. Oh, you have a cat. What's her name? Or his name? Uh, or their name? It's Presto. Um. What should I do? Um. You hear a bunch of noise and people walking around outside. What do you want to do? Um. I'll stay sleeping actually. Okay. Well, I'll add make... your sleep. Yeah. As you're sleeping, would you like to describe Jesse a little bit? Uh, give me one moment. Fuck, his cat. His cat is sabotaging us. Mm. And while while Mr. While, Mr. while Jesse is sleeping, um... Felix is just kind of prancing around the right, dorm whoa, whoa, whoa. rooms. Hold up. You were given specific dorm room numbers by Mr. Ichihari. Felix, you are told to go into this dorm room. This guy, he's just going to walk straight into this dorm room, which is what he was assigned to. And this man, he is going to walk into this dorm, which is what he was assigned to. Felix, Felix struts into his room, closes the door, locks it, locks it, takes out his bag, which is filled with a bunch of um of his bits of his clothes and laptop. All right, Jesse, and opens his laptop. 
Yep, go on. Opens his open. He opens his laptop and starts transcribing everything you wrote down in a notebook on his oh, and his little website of paranormal activities. And he starts I... recording himself. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. What's it called? You forget. Um. Is his. His website of paranormal activity is called the website of paranormal activities with activities capitalized. Um, <laughs> Creative. Paranormal activities. It is. Okay. It's, well. He's, well. He. Yep. He's, he just updates his website with all the, with all his with all his notes. All right. As you're doing that, Jesse, you ready to describe? Uh, me are you ready to drive Jesse? Yeah, yeah, I'll do it now. Um, All right. How should I start? Just with like the personality. Uh, just basic description, and then whatever you want, truthfully. All right. Um, I'll just see what I can do. Okay, Jesse. He's seventeen years old. He's kind of new to this business. He joined up in this whole United you know, of business, like at most a couple of months ago. Wait, does that work? Uh, yep. Uh, you joined okay. up because of... Well, you didn't... You joined up after backstory stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um... Personality-wise, he's... I guess he's a country boy, free and free. I mean, he doesn't have an accent that shines free. And he's a little bit droopy in tone, but... He's passive, kind of, but okay. he's not hard to get along with at all, and I all guess right. that's it for now. Okay. I cast well, technique, yeah. Uh, do you want to describe it or do you want to save it? I'll save it. Okay. All right. Uh, singularity, you ready? Singularities. Yes, 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 I am. All right. Uh, no, okay. Singularity. Hi. What is your character's name? Katakuna Fuyu. Okay, Katakuno is currently sleeping. He is woken up by the sound of movement and people talking and kind of walking about. His immediate reaction is, ah, all right. We hit the point where other people are showing up. No more days of peace, I suppose. He gets up. First thing he does is start to rearrange and clean up the room. Because originally, because he showed up a little, a wee bit, in heavy quotes, early, but he kind of just had the room to himself. So now he's just reorganizing and just shoving things aside and trying to clean up the room before other people walk in. Nobody's going to be walking in. They're like single dorm rooms. Oh, then he, he realizes this fact Trust and me, is like, Felix huh. has an amazing ability to break other people's privacy. He, he blinks as he realizes that these are single door rooms and he just started rearranging and cleaning for no You're reason. He's still trying to get the sleep off. Started... Yeah, he's still a little loopy from the last time he tried to use his curse technique, whatever that thing's called. So <laughs> he just finishes cleaning up because it's a little bit of a mess. Yeah. And then just walks out and just like sits down at his desk stares at some stuff for a while not really thinking all right um i'll be right back i'll be back in like a second or two also hello okay. singularity this is the first time i've heard your right. voice same here woo you have a great voice thank you first time i've met you actually I'm even and using my phone microphone. Two. Imagine if I had One. content. Sounds good. It sounds good. It probably sounds better than my microphone. I'm using my Mine. headphones. Hey, this is great. Y'all's are great. We just have to worry about how YouTube handles it. Because you know how YouTube likes to cut people's audio. True. Yes. I use YouTube. I like to upload stuff that I don't actually know. I've never the uploaded only stuff, period. The only question is, did House leave us? Did House leave us on, or did he pause it for a second? Because if not, hi YouTube. Good. This is a personal challenge. Try to figure out what my curse technique is. I dare you. Hi YouTube. There is a there is a link between me and Mister's backstories. Guess. 
Oh, oh there's a link between my oh there's a link including the, like i also have a similar link i think we can all dm each other after and figure it out sorry by the way in canon does um does fu you not does fu it does the technique not have a name in canon or do you just as a as a um as a player character not know it yet okay but okay I know as the person in character Fuyu has in character Fuyu as we'll just call him because it's shorter. Oh, no, we'll call uh, we'll figure that out later what to call him. But yeah, no, Katakuna Fuyu has little to no idea what his curse technique is. Uh nice. He has like he has this set thing that he does that people consider his curse technique, but he doesn't know if that actually is his curse technique because Family reasons. Plot reasons. Yeah. Oh, since I'm the DM now, uh, everyone comes out and we all start playing hotchkotch. Yeah. Hotch then yeah, Mahito bursts into the room and he also starts playing. Oh, well, I'm going to beat him. Katakuna, I was <laughs> just listening. Roll a D t roll a D t um, 10 to see if you beat Mahito in hopscotch. What do we get if we beat Mahito and Hopscotch? Death. Uh oh. What the? F those are two conflict. <laughs> those are two conflicting agreements. Honestly, with Mahito, it, the answer could be both death and life simultaneously. I mean, he both. Is he a right? He both. Kill he gives you the meaning to life, but and also kills you because no one alive is supposed to know the meaning of life. Keyword alive. Yes. Well, he's a soul loser. I guess that makes sense. Right, the DM's back. We saw, we saw it. We saw Mahito. Welcome back, DM. What? I'm gonna say in the anime, we saw Mahito and Gang at like a, like a kindergarten. Like anything huh? bad happened to those children? In like, in like, I'm pretty sure it was in the newest season. We saw like... Mahito, Kenjaku, and Gang planning, planning, planning on a playground, and and Mahito was playing with the children. Okay. Aw, look at Mahito. Moving on. Yeah. So, Singularity. What yep. is... Uh, I, I keep on forgetting his... I just need to pull this up. What's his name? Katakuna. Yeah, Katakuna, Katakuna Fuyu. Katakuna, yeah. okay. So, is Katakuna staying in his dorm room, or is he walking out? He's going to stay in his room, but just crack open the door a little to let someone know someone's in there. All right, as you see this guy walk into his dorm room, he stops... It makes direct eye contact with you. Katakuna just like freezes, like he freezes up a little, but just maintains oh. eye you contact. Can, uh, join the owl bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're in. No, yeah. I'm not in yet. I'm still trying to set up. My computer's being slow with opening Discord. Oh, okay. But yeah, I'll join as soon as I can. All right. But yeah, Katakuna's just gonna stare him in the eyes maintain eye contact as he doesn't know what to do in this situation as this is the first other student he's interacted with since showing up. He just kind of gives you a little hey and a wave. Katakun and like wave like raises his hand, nods and like kind of backpedals into his room and around the corner. He just kind of goes, all right. Why is this place full of a bunch of weirdos? And he just walks into his dorm room. <laughs> kind of, kind of just like sits there, like, "Huh, that was a great first interaction." All right. As you all are setting up your room, getting everything all prepared, you hear your phones go off as you got an email from the school. It says, uh, "Class will be starting in thirty minutes," which the time is like it's seven thirty a.m. So, class will be starting in around uh, 30 or so minutes. Please, we advise you to show up. Class is very important. Mm -hmm. I, class. I was never one to skip class. I was. Also, I'm back with my water. <laughs> All right. Who are you okay. kind of just... Who are you has yeah, like... this system no, of, like, reading the heading of the email? than just going to the classroom anyways without reading it because he doesn't 
He's gotten used to just not reading the emails and only the headings and just going to the classroom for more information. So he looks at the heading, deletes the email, goes directly to the classroom. Okay. So Felix, you... in the meantime, is picking out his outfit. Uh, what's Jesse doing? Oh, I didn't describe... Dang, I didn't describe what Katakuna's <laughs> wearing. Oh, we'll do that in a second. He's not doing anything? He's oh, yeah, sleeping? Bro is sleeping in on the first day of school. Wait, is this about me? Yes. <laughs> yes! Oh, yeah. What's Jesse doing? <laughs> um, he's still a bit, little bit like EP, you know? Mm. He's a... What the fuck is the word? Groggy? Yeah, groggy. Um, but he's... He's making, like, baby steps, you know? Be up soon enough, surely. All right. He's living in his hat and scarf still. Of course, because he, he does that. All right. Uh, after a while, you all get prepared, and you head for the main campus. Oh, I don't have your camera. Uh, nice. Hold up. Oh shit. I There's get. I get. I guess. Well, wait. Since we're here, should I describe what I'm wearing? You can do whatever. Ah, uh, um, Felix walks proudly onto the Don't main campus with, yeah. with, 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 <laughs> with his confident outfit, which is um, Felix's confident outfit is a long skirt, um, Nike Jordans, and a Goku drip jacket. Oh, God. You're making that canon? <laughs> that was a joke. Yes. Yes. Oh, that was what? That's based. Commit to that. Definitely. Yes. All right. Um, yeah, he, he, yeah, he wears that. And, and his choker. He's, he always has on his choker. No one questions why. That's just fashion, I think. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah it's just a fashion choice. Yeah, totally. Fashion choice. Yes, yeah, someone try, Someone once tried to take off his choker and, like, Psyche K, he passed out. Dang. That's <laughs> concerning. Alright, as you guys, you three somehow managed to both show up late. And you notice that all the other people, they've already walked or minding about the hall and heading towards their classrooms. You guys can move about and do whatever you want. But they tell you you should be heading to the first class to get to your classroom. You should go left and then go right, and it will be the first classroom you see, right past the bathrooms. So go explore. Mm. Wretched. I hate this. Uh, um, Felix is gonna go to Felix is gonna um whisper in Fu's here. Hi, never met you. Hi, I'm Felix. Wait, is it me? Oh, am I just am I, yeah. am I being a little dumb right now? Crap, it's me that's supposed to be saying. Is it me? Yes, yes, yes. Crap, it's for you. For you, just kind of like for you, blinks a little. He's like, uh, he's like, yo, um, yeah, it's it's nice to meet you. <laughs> hey, I never saw you. On, I never saw you at the orientation. Are you like? Are you like, oh, oh, are you like a third year? You didn't see oh, no. so You're probably like one of the experienced students, right? The best part about this is, Kata, like, Katakuna, he's wearing the Sendai Tech uniform, except he's one of those people who just changes details about it while just barely keeping within regulation for what the uniform looks like. So sure, it's the exact same as everyone else's, except it's just... A pur it's just a purple color. <laughs> it's purple. He's right. it's one like of those else is, but purple. Yeah, he's one of those video game characters where the outfit is exactly the same as the default, except the color palette has changed. All right, Mir, you want to join in on this conversation, or you want to keep on moving on? Good, but I don't know how to. Do you want to just hop in? Or what do you, it's up to what does Jesse want to do? Does he want to just go to his classroom or does he want to okay. talk to these two? Jesse is gonna be 
Yeah, he'll just go along for now. All right, you can move I your think. character wherever you want. Mm -hmm. As you are, I am dead. As Jesse is walking through, he sees these two also walking. Do you want to stop and talk to them or just run by them? Good question. You two can also move. You don't have to just stay there. Okay, okay, okay. Mine's yep. still loading. Oh. Okay. My Wi-Fi's going to be trash. Okay. It's okay. Mine is too. Anyway. Yay. Trash by gang. Trash by gang. Hold Hashtag. Okay, Jesse, what are you doing? Okay, I'll just be on my way to the classroom, but I'll go by them like, hey, hey, hi, <laughs> hey, They bye. all just... Okay, as you walk into the classroom, you notice... Hold up. You notice that, that on the chalkboard, it's just the words, please stand at the front of the classroom. Okay. Uh, as you walk in, Mr. Ichihari, he says, hello, nice to meet you. I'm Mr. Ichihari. Oh, yeah, like, uh, nice to meet you too, sir. I kind of punctuate the sir. Who, so out of habit, walks to the middlemost desk in the room and sits down, sure. forgetting that, like everyone else, he's kind of, like, sure, He's been here a little longer, but he's still supposed to follow everyone else also. As you do, you hear each other say, please, hey, please, you're not, please stand up front. That's not where you're supposed oh, to sit. Right. Right. Yeah. Sorry. He walks up front and just kind of stands there. Right. Um, Be I realize we don't have enough Felix space. Is... <laughs> we don't. Well, I'm, so I'm not in the classroom yet. Felix is out here exploring. He's just walking around getting a feel for the layout. Alright, you have five minutes before class starts. Eh, he doesn't care. <laughs> Alright, where are you going? He's kind of uh, drawing. Kind of drawing. Checks out the... Checks out here. Are you poking your head here? in anywhere? Well, yes. That's nothing. That's Pope nothing. That's a wall. That's a wall. Oh, that's a wall? <laughs> there are stairs there? <laughs> Felix... Felix yeah, there's like taps on the wall. But are you sure? No. It's a... mm. Those aren't real. Those aren't real. It's just this map. Can has he a second enter these? Floor. You're going to enter those enter classrooms. Classroom. Yes. You walk in uh, and it, normal? and it is full of those same people with suits and ties, and there is a teacher with like it's a basic. It's your average teacher. You know, glasses, suit and tie. Mm -hmm. They turn to you and say, oh, are you in this class? You don't seem like you're supposed to be here. What's your name? Uh, uh, um, uh, my name. Not important. The, uh, the, because uh, I yeah, am... it is. It is very important. Unless you want me to call the principal. Really? Because let's, let's think about it. What is a name? What is a get name out of my classroom. but a classification which... <laughs> Sir, get out of my classroom. Go to your class before okay, I call good. the principal. But remember, all remember, names are just classification society. Leave. Bye, gold. Bye. Uh, okay. You won't. Um, okay. After you that, here? after that, he finally goes here. Okay. Where did you go? Oh, okay. You can just walk there. All right. He says, "All right, hello." I am Mr. Ichihari, and I will be your homeroom teacher. Now, to get things started, I would like to... I'd like you all to go sit in groups. First, I would like Mr. I would like... Hang on. Riko Kobayashi, would you please go sit anywhere and just kind of create a group? You see the man with long hair whose mind I say he's very tall and incredibly like lanky. You see him Under walk man, over to the corner and sit down. He then says would Miss Achi Ichika would you please go you are a part of 
Riku's group, would you please go join him? And you see this girl, this very small but peppy in the way she walks girl. She walks forward, and as she sits down, she says, well, it looks like we're in groups again. He then says, would Mr. Hishito Hajime, would you please go join the group, the Riku in Aki group, as the final member? And you see this tall man with a very blunt in normal looking face, he just sits down in this desk. And this is group one. He then says Hello side characters. Alright. Mm-hmm. Uh now I know because of special situations, with Miss Cho in Chio Futaba, you would like to be in your own separate group, correct? You hear this girl with glasses. She is very short. She's like four nine, incredibly short, but she is also incredibly peppy and kind of walking around all the place. And she says, "Yep, we're strong enough that uh, we don't need any of these stupid groups or anything like that. Me and my sister over here, we got this." And then you see a girl who is much more reserved and less outgoing looking, who looks exactly like Chio. Well, she, she looks exactly like Cho and she says oh come on we're not that strong we seriously she's like nah come on we're strong we could take all these guys if we wanted to anything to that um mm, Felix can't Felix go Felix just kind of like uh I, I respect the confidence but Clearly, don't know the sh- the strongest in the room, and he turns around dramatically. Singularity near, you got anything? Um, I look she at both of then. them. Who hears both of them say these things and just looks over at the teacher and like, like it, as if like silently asking for com like confirmation or denial. He goes. He kind of just shrugs and is like, oh, maybe. I don't know. They probably could. Um, <laughs> you just kind of nod. You go, that's right. What are you going to say? I mean, in response to Cho, I look at Teensy a bit intimidated and just go, yeah, I believe in you. <laughs> Damn straight. And then she walks to the back of the classroom with Chio following her. All right. Goes, that is group two. And now we move on to the final group. Group three, would Mr. Felix Kurabi, would you please... Yeah, present. All right, would you please choose a seat to start your group in? Felix, sit, Felix sits in the middle because he's important in his own oh, eyes. God. That's I what his mom him. always told him. <laughs> I'm a special kid. Yeah. All right, would Mr. Uh, Jesse, how, do you help me? How do you pronounce this last name, Mr. Jesse? Uh, um, dude, I'm just Jesse. Just Jesse? You know, no last name? Know yeah. Yeah. Oh. Who's asking me that? Okay. He goes, oh, are, your parents must be lovely. Please take your seat yeah. next to Felix. <laughs> Alright, please take okay. your seat next to Felix. I'll be closer to the teacher. All right, uh, these two um, are gonna... Felix goes, it's okay, not everyone ha- can afford a last name. Dang, okay. Um, okay, he then goes... He down. means that completely oh, yeah, no, sincerely, hold on, hold on, hold on. not like, making fun of the uh, poor. I, you... I start off a bit. Uh, who are you? Are you new? Me? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh well. Well, not exactly. I'm actually. I've, I've been before. here a while. I just. I I. Are you lying I, to me? I went to a different sector of the school. You wouldn't know me. Yeah, that's why we haven't met uh, before. Okay. 
I'm gullible. I just, uh, yeah, that makes sense. All right. Would for the final member of group three, would Mister Kobokuna Fuyu, would you please join the group? Fuyu, like, there's a moment of like every person's life when they have a name that's slightly complicated, where it's slightly mispronounced. Dude, my everybody just... mispronounced my last name. I know. Yeah, but Koto, yeah, Koto Kuna just like kind of walks, just like kind of walks over and just sits down in like the desk that's behind, like in between behind the two ish. Does he correct him on the pronunciation or does he just roll with it? He like, he's like, he's gonna like take note of it and just like, and he's gonna fix, he's gonna remind him later, not in front of everybody because that just feels a little. It feels rude and like he's challenging authority. He doesn't want to do that on the first day where actual people are here. All right. He says, now that everybody is seated, do you want to make any more comments or do anything like that? Or are you guys all good? Um, Felix raises his hand like he's in um, elementary school. Go, ooh, 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 I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. Yes, Felix. I have a question about this school, as in general. Does this school, so in this school, what we will, what we will, what will we be actually learning? Is this, a, is this a, is this like a cover up? Like, oh, this all school is just so society doesn't figure out our about our secret organization, or or do we like actually have to take tests and like math, math and stuff? Well, because if I go to Hogwarts and have to. And I fail because of an algebra exam. I'm gonna be real fucking pissed. I'm telling you right now. All right. First There's off, a moment. Yeah, go on. There's just a moment of hearing this question. Kodakuna just like leans, like kind of just like leans, and it's like just the most baffled and confused face possible. Before just like kind of just like shaking his head and just going back to the default expression. He goes, okay, well, first off, Mr. Felix, would you please watch your language? Second off, this school... Okay, is... Felix starts speaking Spanish. Do you... He knows Spanish? <laughs> Como estas? He goes, all right. Felix okay. knows Spanish, I don't. All right. He says, to answer your first question, this is a mixture school where... Half of the day, you will be learning jujutsu, jujutsu techniques, all that. And the other half will be spent doing normal classes, such as math, English, history, all the basics you need to get past in life. Because, well, we do hunt curses, it's still technically a school for learning, technically. Okay, that makes sense. You wouldn't want to make sense. He writes it down. Humane. But still, I'm kind of pissed off. Right. He then says, well, I am Mr. As you know, I'm Mr. Ichihari. It is nice to meet you all, and I will be your homeroom teacher for your first year here at Sendai Tech. He then goes on and talks about how what you're going to be learning. He says, while you're here in my classroom, at the very least, you will learn the basics of Jujutsu and how to control your curse technique in curse energy. Actually, pardon me. I forgot entirely. So it slipped my mind. Would you all like to give a brief introduction of yourself? I already know I called out your name, but we would, but to get to know you a bit better. Oh, I cannot do that voice for long. But Felix to... jumps out of the table. I would be glad to introduce myself. He he um walks up to the front of the classroom. All right, I was. Hello, I... everyone. Wait, wait, hold on. Hello, Calm everyone. Down. Help. Stop. Jesus, God, you are an interesting one, aren't you? Everyone's interesting in their own ways. All right. Um. So, how does Jesse and Fuyu feel about this? Like. <laughs> Fuyu kind of just like, lo like, like lowers his head and looks away as if trying to deny a connection to this person. 
you know what? I cheer him on. I go like, yeah, be that guy. You hear Chio, you hear Cho in the back room go, woo, yeah, woo. Then you hear, you see, Dang. G you see Chio go, well, no, sh 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 please stop, please stop. All right, what would you like to say? I like your energy. Uh, well, Base, so what would you, I, what would hello, you like I'm... to say? Please give a brief description right. of yourself um, and what what you would like to learn here. And if you want, you could talk about your curse technique. But you don't have to, because I understand that's a bit personal for some people. Well, I am Fe I'm Felix Ku... I, I cannot pronounce my own last name. Kuwabara? It's so embarrassing, Kurt. Kuwabara, yes. Close I'm enough. Felix Kuwabara. That is not it, but whatever. Kuwabara. Kuwabara. Kurobo. Kuwabara. I think it's Kurobo. Um, just call me Felix, K. Just call me Felix, K. You hear, <laughs> you hear Aiki go, Okay, nice to meet you, Mr. Felix K. Yes, or Mr. K, no or, or, or Detective K, Dr. K, Dr. K, I have many names, I'm, names, I am Please here to learn about the history of this organization, and I, and for my curse technique, well, a magician never reveals his secrets until the end of the stage play, I think, right. is, that, is that the quote? I don't remember. Everton just like slightly cringes at the idea of ever of a magician ever revealing their secrets, but then just stays quiet. All right. Would any does anybody have any questions for Felix? And no, I will not be explaining my outfit. It's high fashion. You just don't understand it yet. All right, Jesse, uh, Kodo Kuna. I'm gonna get it right one of these days. You got any questions? You got it right that time. You okay, got it right um, that time. Yeah, no, Kodakuna remains silent. He has nothing to say. <laughs> Alright, Jesse? I raise my I raise my hand. Uh, um to let him He goes say that Jesse. Wait. Yes. Um I think you should get a hat like mine. Do you like my hat? I yes, think... your hat is amazing. I will get your yeah, hat. Yeah, I know, right? Isn't it like Actually, the best thing? Yes, it's the best thing. Actually, he yes. um, Felix is gonna tap the wall behind him, and he's gonna w use his curse technique and create a small shikigami in the shape of Jesse's hat and place it on his head. All right, you see. <laughs> oh God, you do you use the uh the the chalkboard? Yeah, the chalkboard. In your and you turn stuff into, like. It's not, it spawned from it, it is the object, correct? It is the object. Okay, so as you all look back, you see him tap his head on the board, or tap his hand, and you see the board begin to shape and meld, and you see, kind of like in Full Metal Alchemist, where something kind of slowly begins to form out of it, and you see Jesse's hat in the shape of just, like, an object made of chalkboard material pop yes. out from the board it's, it's, and land on his hat and it looks exactly like jesse's hat it looks exactly like Jesse's hat but obviously made of chalkboard oh. and all the little details are like in on my hat is like written on chalk written with looks like it written with chalk okay any reactions to this okay oh, the get, kind of just like after you okay i get fucking uncharacteristically in through the yes, you go, that's the fucking coolest thing I've ever fucking seen. Language, just Jesse, clap please. I couldn't help myself, so. Oh, no, you're fine. That's not a me thing. That's a... Oh, uh, this guy. my bad. That's a, that, that's, that is not a me thing. That is... Uh, you're in a Ichihara. classroom. Yeah, you're in a classroom. Oh, yeah. This is Ichihara. This is his thing. Oh, I don't yeah, care. I was responding to him. I was responding to him. Oh, okay. I was like, oh, I hope I didn't offend you. Nah, I thought it was the teacher. Yeah, it was. But then I thought it was you, because he corrected me. Okay. Yeah, he corrects you and says, please, this is a classroom. Watch your language. Yeah, I couldn't help myself, so. All right, uh, 
Who are you? What do you got? He kind of just stares and he's like, he nods like, huh, an interesting ability. Just keep just nods. Uh, you mm-hmm. hear Chio go, wow. I mean, Joe, you hear Chio go, that's cool. You can make hats? Is that it? That's not he, that impressive. He, just, he 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 goes blank face. He cry. You can see him cry a little. You know what? Yeah, I can make hats. You, I I fine. I can make hats. Yeah, you sure. Hear, you hear Mr. Ichihara go? Can you please turn my board back into a board, please, Mr. Felix, and never do that again? <laughs> Felix looks at him uh, and kind of like freezes up. Um, first, I need to go to the bathroom. So, and he bolts out the door because he cannot turn things back. <laughs> you see him put his hand and go, oh my. Oh, we don't have the money for a new whiteboard. Don't All right. worry, I can se- I can sell some of my vintage collection of of dead body parts. He goes. All um, right. I guess. Yeah. Oh, never mind. He goes. All right. Who would like to go next? All Don't right. I. I. Oh, you want to go? Sure. All right, walk to the, I guess the classroom. Do. Okay. Let me see. Hi. Um, I'm Jesse. Um, I'm sorry for getting a bit too energetic there. I'm, I'm a big fan of hats, especially if someone can wear them well. Do I? Um, I kind of want to show off my curse technique, honestly. All right, go for it. Okay. Say, Ichihara, would you like to see my curse technique? Sure, go right ahead. Okay. I lean in a bit, a bit more towards him, like Uh, closer to the face. Are you going to do your curse technique, Mr. Jesse? Well, um, it's a bit conditional, you see, sir. Oh, so um, what do you need for me to do? Um, just like slap me, you know. I I don't think I can do that. You can't. Really? I'm I, I'm not allowed to hit my students. I mean, unless it's during know. training. But it's for demonstration, so. Um, Mister, uh, would somebody like to slap, slap? Correct, I heard that right. Yep, I mean, would punch s- works too. Would somebody like to <laughs> practice with Mister Jesse over here? You want to do anything, Kodukanu, Kodukana? Jet. Um. I feel like this is just going to become a running joke of everybody saying it in a different way. Kodakuna kind of like looks up as if, and like he kind of just like looks, he's trying to gauge if he's being prompted to do something or if he's asking the entire class as a whole. Because uh, sure. He's asking the whole class. He'd rather classroom. not. He'd rather not. Yeah, he'd, he'd, rather, he, he'd rather not be the one, but if nobody else will do it, he'll. Right. Approach. So then Chio go Cho goes, Oh, oh, me, 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 I wanna punch him in the face. Yeah. <laughs> Come on up. Let's go, All Chio. Right. Um, Felix says from the doorway. Give me your Mr. Card. Felix, would you please return to the classroom? Uh, I I'm not finished using the bathroom yet. I can see you. Oh uh, yes. Oh uh, yes. The bathroom <laughs> from the hallway. Return to the classroom now. Okay. I'm so scared for my life. You 
You the will bad not. Thing. You get a one-time excuse. Do that again, and you'll be going to the office. I do okay. That what were you saying? the principal man was like six foot. He could crumple me. What were you saying, uh, Fuyu? The bathroom is a literal one hundred feet away from this classroom. No, it's uh, not. Ah, yes, he's using the bathroom in the well, one of them is. The other one's thirty-five <laughs> feet. It's over here. Oops. Oh, I, I guess he went. I thought he would go all the yeah, way as across. As soon as you run that, away. You, you hear the sound of flushing. Just to remind yourself, by the way, you are in a classroom right next to the bathrooms. Ah, oh, it's like, ah. Uh. That's why you're the first years. You get to sit next to the bathrooms. Woohoo. All right. Chio goes, all right, I'm not holding back. And then she goes in for a normal punch. Uh, where is her stats? Here they Beat are. his ass. Yeah, show them the show him the man. Still love you, Jesse. Just like, you know, f for right. the sake of it. She Okay, well, she doesn't have to roll the hit cuz you're letting it happen. So, a punch mm -hmm. is power level in D4, which she has a 2. Actually, no. She's not going to punch you. She's going to kick you, which Yeah. Let me look to see what kicks are, because her technique's better than her punch. She's going to roundhouse kick you in the head. Let's go. Which is Let's go. four d six. Have a look at the lay. No, my face. it's two d six. I was gonna say four d six. Eight damage for a roundhouse. <laughs> Says you're gonna fucking die. She raises her foot and slams it into your head. You kind of. Jerk back a bit as you take eight damage. Yeah. Well, until you take eight damage, until. Until. How do you describe your curse technique? After the kick, I do fumble. I do fumble a little a bit, a little mm -hmm. bit back. But after I steady myself, you know, just from the physical force of the kick alone. I show no damage taken currently. I'm clean, I'm fresh. I well, you technically places. take four points of damage. Yeah, technically. So there's a minor little bruise on your head, and that's it. Yeah. Oh. And the... Wait. Go on. Yeah, did we figure out how my curse technique works exactly? Yes, I have it. It's basically the same thing. Yeah, it's it's the same thing, but the buffs are... Plus one for every two points. Okay, and the damage I thought was delayed. Uh, delayed for... Do you have your... Uh, just pull up yeah, the DMs. I, I think it's just... It's... No, it's one turn. At, it's the next... At the end of the next turn, you take damage. So in six okay. seconds. Okay. That makes sense. So six seconds go by... Well, first off, you see... Okay. Yeah, do you want to describe how the boost effect works? Um... I feel like... Um... Does everyone naturally have, like, a bit of cursed energy, energy surge? Like, in general? No, only whenever they, okay. like, use techniques and stuff like that. Yeah, I thought so. Um... Let's just say my muscles grow a tiny, teensy bit. All right. Negligible, uh, but they do. Your muscles expand and grow just a teeny bit. They're kind of like pushing against your uniform. What is your yeah. guys' reaction to this? Because the whole class goes, whoa, cool. What is your guys' reaction? Oh, so it wasn't <laughs> just a king thing. Oh, good. <laughs> do you get an odd sense of deja vu for a second? And then just kind of nods. Yeah. All right. Then, <laughs> after six seconds pass, and your muscles begin to swell down a bit, and then you see a much more defined cut begin to appear on your forehead. Please take the rest of the four damage. We'll take four more damage. Yep. Yep. So, uh, he says, oh, Mr. Ichibe, Ichihari goes, oh, would you... 
Do you need to go see the nurse? Are you okay? No, nah, no. Nah. I'm used to this kind of damage, you see. I mean, you oh, can still do it too if you want. Just saying. You say that to Joe? She... No, to Ichihara. So you want... We no, this is not training. And Joe's like, wait, can I hit him again? He goes, no, no. <laughs> no. Do you really wanna? Yeah, I really want to. No, I don't want you to. No, this is not. Training. I kind of want to hit uh, him again. Felix, what do you think? Yeah. Sh should you be uh, able to allowed to hit me again? I have more. I have more serious he get any forms say of damage this. than a punch. Why don't I get a say friend. in this? I'm He's the my teacher. Friend. No, everybody, please yeah. return to your seats. There is no fighting. Yet. Fine. I was gonna she... fight him, I was gonna shoot him. <laughs> um, he does not freak out about this because it's a jujutsu tech. Kodakuna Another. has a moment where he's like, holy, wait, he, like, his eyes widen, he looks to make, and like, they, does a double take, realizes where he is and what he did literally three days ago, and then just kind of like, yeah, sounds about right, and just moves on. Right, he goes, so, who would like to go next? And before, if you wanted to, uh, Singularity, Cho goes, oh, us, we want to go, we want to go. And then she rushes up to the classroom, dragging Chio. She goes, hi, Woo, let's go. I'm Cho Futaba, and this is my twin sister, Chio Futaba. And Chio, Chio kind of gives a little... Hi, nice to meet you all. But Okuna looks Chio in the eyes and just has that moment of like, ah, so you're also a sibling that gets dra dragged around by the slightly older. You don't even know. You don't even know the half of it. Um, Felix, he just respectfully Felix nods. Waving. Felix is doing his full cheerleader, cheerleading thing because he was a cheerleader in high school. Okay, Cho goes, uh, us two, we are the strongest here right now, and we're going to kill as many curses. We're going to kill all the curses in the world so we can create a curse-free zone. And she kind of does that imagination thing. There's no <laughs> imagination. It's just eradicate curses instead of imagination. <laughs> he, like Felix, I'm like, oh my god, just like me for real, for real. Yes, girl. She goes, you just and just by yeah. Uyu just glances over at Mr. Ichihara again and just kind of, again, just like seems to just be asking without, just without words, seems to just be asking for confirmation if they are that good. He shrugs. He goes, he shrugs. Like, I don't know. She goes, just kind of, yeah. Uyu just kind of nods and goes back and just starts paying attention again. Right. She goes, by the way, if all of you guys would take us on at once, we'd win. Just saying, because we are awesome. But I don't want to reveal a curse technique, just in case you want a little... And then she does that little shadow boxing thing. You know, just in case. Awesome. I'll take you on anytime. That sounds oh, weird. I'm like, in a violent way. She walks to the front of you. You mean it? Hell yeah. All right. Ooh, outside. Scaring. She says, outside in the foyer, which you know the foyer is uh, right here. It's this little area. Right over here. Yeah, right over here. She says, all right, after school, meet me there. Ah. Well, and oh, that crap. goes to all of this. you. We could take on all of you. And Joe's like, oh, no, please, no, no, no. She's lying. She's lying. We can't do that. And he's like, well, what are you talking about? Yes, we can. Gio she looks to Ichihara for permission. Wait, no. Kodakuna looks to... <laughs> ah, he's... He, Kodakuna just looks up for... Just for confirmation that he is indeed allowed to go out and fight these two. Ichihara goes... Well, you are technically we. You are only allowed to fight in the supervision of other, of a teacher. I will <laughs> probably be out there just so you would all shut up about who's the strongest. 
Oh my god, we could have a free for all. Yeah. Hell yeah. Be there or be squared. And then she walks back. Don't worry, I'm already a square. All right. Ichihara goes. That all makes right. no sense. What the fuck? Would... Well, you technically are a square. Oh, yeah, we are. True. You're all <laughs> squares, except for her, who's a rectangle. Teehee. <laughs> this reminds me of a um, thing where, like, oh, he rolled a nat 20, and then he starts seeing five giants standing behind, standing, controlling everything. All right. Ichihara goes, so, who would like to go next? Go to Tuna. Remain silent. <laughs> okay, you see this girl go, I'm up. And then she walks to the front. She goes, hi, everybody. I'm Aki Ichika. And then she does a little fancy pose. I'm the great... I, I come from the Ichika clan. Do any of you know about the Ichika clan? Never <laughs> heard of it in a day life. Fuyu raises his hand. Yes, you. Then, like, there's a moment where, like, he wasn't expecting her, him to do the introduction for her. So kind of just, like, just has that moment of stall, of just, you can clearly tell he knows. It's just that, we're, like, he's caught off guard in this okay. moment. hold up, hold up. If you want to know, roll an intelligence check. Great. How does it? How do we roll intelligence, Mr. DM? Uh, click. I'm on assuming it's just one d six. Yeah, one d six. Click on the dice in the top, and one d six. That's a two. No, you no idea, no idea. You've never heard of this clan in your life. God, I could have sworn their name sounds familiar. Uh, he could have just like blanks out. And he's like, and then just sit and just like lowers his hand. She goes, "That's all right." Uh, we're kind of broke, and nobody wants to talk to us anymore. We were real popular in the Heian era, but now, not so much. That's why I'm here, to prove that the Ichihara clan is still just as strong. With our there's a first sudden technique. Look of, there's, a, there's a sudden look of recognition for Kotokuna, as he's like, so that's who they are. And then just he continues to just like stay silent and watch intently. She goes, hey, you, Jesse. And then she points at Jesse. Yeah. Do you want to be a volunteer? For what? I, do you want to be a volunteer? You look injured. Do you yeah. want to be a volunteer? For what? My curse technique. Oh, yeah. Give it to me. Are you going to okay. hurt me? No, I'm doing the opposite, actually. <laughs> You can, can we, kiss. Hey, hey, YouTube. Hey, YouTube. Make a counter for every time Jesse does something masochistic. I really want to see how many times he goes through this. <laughs> yeah. I think the counter's at like three so far. Oh, it's yeah. Like yeah. Four. Just... Nope. Yeah, four. Okay. She yeah, goes. Just, yeah, YouTube. She goes, all right. Time to show off my clan's super secret and awesome curse technique. Dance of Salvation. And then you see her bust out two fans. And she begins to do a kind of elegant dance where she like goes up. It's very flowy. She goes up, down, kind of flows around a bit. If you want more detail, look up the, the Suzume Odori dance. And that's the dance she, she is doing, a uh, Suzume Odori dance. And this goes on for around uh, 30 seconds. You see her dancing, moving around. And as she dances, you see her cursed energy kind of spike. And it grows massive as she begins to dance faster and further. Her movements become more elegant and complicated. And then it reaches a peak. And suddenly, Jesse, you feel this surge of energy just hit you. And would you please heal... All curse energy and all health. And heal them to max. Or heal them up to whatever your maximum is. Okay. How do I do that? Just heal yourself. Go, wh wh Add whatever wherever you, you Wherever you load your health, return it back to where it normally is. You lost 8 health, okay, yeah. so 
uh, restore eight health. Yeah, I do that. And since you yeah, don't have, do you didn't lose any curse energy, so you don't restore any curse energy. Yeah, I thought I had to roll something. No, no, it's just healing. So then yeah. she is going to. Uh, what? Yep. You see her then. The curse energy leaves her and. Oh. You see her. She kind of loses all that peppy energy and she kind of like power downs a little bit and you see her step back. She then hits her balance, goes, Ooh. and you see Rico go, good job, and gives her like the double thumbs up. Goes, all right, that was my curse technique. Hope you enjoy. I um, just, um, Felix is clapping. I'm clapping too. He's, I also, I clapping. also filmed it. You can. I go, okay, hey, can I post this? Can I post hey. this on my um socials? I this would this would get this would go viral. You see her kind of perk up and go, socials. Do I know you from somewhere? <laughs> Uh, he, um, he, he goes into Are you, Do you, are you website of paranormality? Yes! I am he the a biggest fan. And she grabs your hand in that kind of like double grip and go, I have been watching you for so long. I can't believe I'm meeting you. <gasps> yeah, I, I joined this thing because I want to do research on the Jujutsu world and find, and find all the things. I can, well, you, if you, you said want you wanted research, to show your, you you want to show your research, clan to the world. I'll help you with that, man. Oh, I would I'll love that. I'll make sure that. everyone knows your clan. But uh, we kind of aren't allowed to talk about jujitsu outside of these circles, you know, secrecy and all that, and not showing it to the normies. Mm, he kind of he does a smirk, but then goes, "Okay, I'll just show it to every." I'll, let I'll make a website specifically for Jujutsu Sorcerers. You see how he goes. It's gonna be called Twitter. You mean oh Twitter? Oh no, it's still Twitter. It's 2017 technically. Still Twitter. Oh, it's gonna be called X. <laughs> Ichihari goes. I would refrain from showing any Jujutsu or anything related to Jujutsu outside of this school because you may break. Violations and potentially executed. Executed. Yes, they are very for showing ones. for showing. Ju okay. Especially if you purposely that... show it. Mm -hmm. That is why bales uh... exist to hide jujutsu sorcerers. What's there to hide in the first place? Everything. We are supposed to keep this secret. From the real Why? world. Why? Oh, you think the real world can handle this information? There will be a whole lesson on this. Please just refrain from showing this to anybody who is not a part of the Jujutsu tag. I'm okay. Um, Felix gets more serious. I'm sorry, but when I first, I when I first saw Jujutsu sorcery, it was say it was. You fighting big monsters. I think general people who can still be attacked by these monsters should at least know that they're being attacked by big stu by big monsters made up of n negative emotions. Okay, Mr. Felix. If we were to say, tell everybody that there are these invisible monsters that they can't see, what do you think would happen? Her spirits spawn from fear. If we tell them... That there are invisible monsters that could kill them at any moment, their fear would spike, and more curses would exist. More stronger curses. Well, at least, well, at least they would be able to make um, like preparation. At least be prepared. At least they will know what's happening, if, rather than just dying randomly to whatever curse that spawns without them even knowing it exists. We will talk about this later. Now, who would like to go next? Do you want to go, Singularity? Is Fuyu ready, or is he going to be the last person? Fuyu is like, honestly, the plan for Fuyu was, hey, be last. Okay. But seeing someone else whose bloodline from the Hyena era, who he vaguely remembers, 
from like old books that he found in his grandfather's office. He decides, hey, if he presents himself now, maybe they'll notice. So he's going to like he's going to go up and start. He's going to go out to the front. All right. Well, first off, uh, Jesse, Fui, what are your thoughts on that conversation? Fuyu is like, Fuyu is honestly, he he's, he's very deadpan the whole time. He's intense. His how he feels not clear at all. Hmm. Jesse, you got anything? What? Well, I unspokenly admire Felix for his hmm. ga- gal. Okay. Well, it makes sense with your backstory. If you think about um, it, Felix kind of just I, sits down angrily. It makes I sense. DM'd really. you, I DM'd you. Huh? Oh. What'd you DM me? I DM'd you his reaction to this. Oh. All right. Jesus. Okay. That also makes sense. Yeah, so Fuyu stands at the front. He's like, um, hello, I am Kotokuna Fuyu. I'm, well, I was here a little early, a little earlier than you all. My curse technique is honestly the reason I was admitted here earlier as I was transferred here from the Kyoto branch. I can't show you my curse technique because it is by nature something that I can't really control properly, and I've been advised by my mentor that it is not wise to use it in a confined space such as this. Um, if you all have any questions, please do ask. Uh, he... Oh, go ahead. Um, feel, um, Felix raises his hand. Oh, so you're Who's from like... the... The key, the Kyoto branch. There's more branches of this. How many? Do you know how many other branches of this? There's of these schools are there. This probably should be a question for the teacher. Actually, how many other branches of schools are there? There's currently four. One in Tokyo, one in Kyoto, one in Sendai, and one in. I don't know where the other school is going to be, but there, are, there are currently four schools. You got her. Nigata. I will look into that. I haven't decided where the fourth school is going to be because there are canonically yeah. only two. Te- there are only two texts. It's Kyoto and Juju and Tokyo. Hey YouTube, why don't post? You- why don't you post a comment and vote to try to decide? Who knows where what'll am I happen? Going to make the fourth school. Who knows? Where, if you can vote for California, that is an option. I'm thinking of... Oh, no, I'm it probably isn't. thinking of Osaka. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> the, sc- the four schools. Yeah. Kyoto, Sendai, Tokyo, <laughs> <Yeah>. California. <laughs> not, yeah. not, a, not a city, the entire state of California. Oh, right. God. Ichi- Anyways, Kodakuna, Kodo- yeah. like seems to shrug and says, yeah, I was at Kyoto branch because of my first mentor-ish. She's, she didn't really teach me a lot. She just kind of grabbed me like on the way home from work. And my older sister was like, eh, yeah, no, she'd grab you eventually. So now I'm here. Mm. <laughs> you want to talk like about your seven. most recent mentor or no? Oh, yeah, my most recent mentor is actually the PE teacher here. I've been studying under her for, he, like, starts counting on his fingers, and he's like, since I got here in April, so that's April, the... He clearly seems to be struggling with the mental math. All right. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, since April. All right. Uh, Sad. Oh, is that it? Un- I mean, unless anybody else has any further questions. Um, Felix is too mad to make other questions. Cho raises, uh, no. Riku raises a hand and goes, so, like, is your curse technique really explosive and that's why you can't do it in close quarters? Or how do you not know what your curse technique is? Well, 
Uh, okay, so that's a funny story. My old mentor kind of grabbed me off the street because I used my curse technique in public on accident because I don't fully comprehend how curse energy works still. I know the basics, but nothing on how to use it. And so it kind of randomly happened once, and that's when my old mentor just grabbed me off the street and dragged me to Kyoto and was like, hey, do this. So I tried the application. And my curse technique didn't work, apparently. So they were like, so they were confused on why I was dragged there and then shipped me off here. Mm, right. But yeah, no, one of the um, reasons. But yeah, no, one time I used it and yeah, there was a big crater as a result. Um, we don't talk about that, though. Um, Felix raises his hand. When did this happen exactly? Um, like what? Uh, two... Like a week and a half ago, I think. Maybe do you two weeks. The, do you remember the story on new on the news about a mysterious crater hitting Earth? Yeah, that was me. I was there. I was investigating that. It was one of it was my recent most recent post before I came here. Uh yeah. yeah you're you're welcome. I guess I accidentally caused a meteor to fall from the sky. Well, that mystery solved. It wasn't. It wasn't a government experience experience it was a japanese high schooler with japanese italian i have japanese italian ancestry but... that i've never met it was a japanese pasta spaghetti <laughs> sorry all right it was a japanese uh, you got any schooler. questions mir um i don't think so no all right uh well that is all Mr. Fuyu, would you please return to your desk? Yeah, he just he kind he just moves rather rather swiftly back to his desk and sits down. All right. Next up, uh, this guy with tall tall guy, curly hair. He walks up to the front, says, "Sup? My name's Riku Kobayashi. Uh, you may know me because I am actually." Uh, Mr. Kobayashi's brother, that tall guy, long hair, kind of, uh, let's just say, jerkish, that's my brother. Yeah, you both built like stick figures, I can guess. Yeah, we, it runs in the family, which actually, I, much like you, Fuyu, and Ichika, um, I am actually from a bloodline family as well. I'm from the Kobayashi family. We used to be pretty big back in Hian era, but then as the days went on, we just kind of fell out of the loop. So you has like a level of excitement hidden behind his same blank stare. Do you want to roll to see if you know this? Would Fuyu like to roll to see if he knows this? Yeah, he'll make okay. the roll for it. All right, intelligence. He definitely knows. It's just a matter of does he remember right now? That's another two. Okay, <laughs> don't worry. Okay, this is a pretty familiar one. You recognize from reading the book that this is the Kobayashi family. They were known for having two very big, important curse techniques. The first was talisman transportation which allows users to stick talismans onto people and transport them from one place to another, or from one talisman to the other. If you see Naruto, it kind of works like flying Raijin. Raijin. Kind of a little yeah. bit like that, but you it, it works almost exactly like that, but minus the whole okay. kunai and stuff like that. Um, Felix, go, Felix um, whispers, okay, you're from the Heron, your clan was big of the Heron. Hain era, your clan was being in the Hain era, your clan was being in the Hain era. Is any more Hain era, is any more people who are really good in the Hain era in this room? Any more? Any more? Please tell me. I'm very tired of hearing about this era. Okay, and then also, you know, the second big curse technique, and this is the one that they're more known for, is called Grace of the Holy Talisman. They can also create talisman. However, these talisman kind of work like, uh, this is kind of, you're not going to know this uh, singularity because it's in the manga. It works like whenever 
uh Reggie used that uh that thing that uh spa tick that spa um what am I it's the Yeah. The spa whatever it's he called. spawned objects. Yeah, no, it's the Oh my, spa receipt. Whenever you use the spa receipt and he yeah, rejuvenated. The receipts. Yeah. It kind of works like okay. that where they can create what you know is that he can that at least the grace of holy talismans not you will you don't know if, uh, if Riku has it or not but you can assume since his brother's the nurse he has the grace of talent uh, grace of the talisman one grace of talisman okay. allows people well allows the user to create a talisman that heals people by a certain amount of hours so essentially if he creates a talisman that uh it essentially speeds up the healing process so he can create a talisman that speeds up the healing process by eight hours. He slaps it on you. You immediately feel as if you rested for eight hours. This is a, this was really big back then because if you like broke a bone or you got stitched up and the stitching is going to take a while, well, just go up to them. Hey, could you give me like a year talisman? Sure. You instantly hear heal like a year in half a second. Oh, damn. damn. The only downside is if you have it doesn't heal wounds directly. It's not exactly reverse curse technique. So if you have like an open cut, like an open lethal cut, and you don't get that stitched up, you're just gonna bleed out because well, you didn't you just healed a year without having any stitches in. Uh, I that sense. He then goes, uh, if you would like a demonstration, he then walks over to the door. Well, actually, do you say anything to that knowledge you just got? No. Do you like, kind you, of you like... You would know. Who you would know. Do uh, yeah. you have in, like, a moment of, like, he acts like... Sure, he rem he remembers reading something about the Ichika clan. Doesn't remember it off the top of his head. He, remem he remembers information about the Kobayashi family. So he has this, like, look... He, 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 it's very clear that he recognizes... What he it's very clear he recognizes what Riku is talking about. Riku then walks over, slaps a talisman on the door. He then walks over, pulls out a talisman, and then he infuses curse energy into it, and you see the talisman lighting the flames, and he is suddenly teleported over to here as you see the talisman on the door burn up. He then walks to the front and says yeah, that's my curse technique. They used to do it all the time. We were basically taxis back in the Heian era. Hey, taxis are an important service. Hey, I'm not complaining. I applaud. Who you nods enthusiastically at the idea of taxis being important? <laughs> wow. So, um, wow, that te curse technique could be really useful to normal people. He then walks to the back of the classroom. As you do, you see uh, Aiko kind of pat him on the back and go, Good job, man! Yeah, let's go! Best friend. Ichihara then goes, All right. Well, since we only have one left, would Mr. Haisato Hijima. I don't... I really wish I made him a different name. It's ha I'm pretty sure that's pronounced Hajime. <laughs> yeah. Haji yeah, Hajime. I'm talking about his first name. We his Sato. Oh, oh just his Sato. I'm just going to call him Sato. His Sato yeah. Hijime. Hajime. He then goes to the front of the classroom and says, Hi, I'm Hajime. Nice to meet you all. And then he just walks back. <laughs> I um, Felix just starts clapping. You then, as he walks back, you see... Riku and Aki go, come on, man, is that all you got? And he's just looking away, just, I don't give a shit. All right. You hear Ichihara said, all right, since, um, since introductions are out of the way, I would love to continue teaching. However, since today is the first day, it is a half day, and you all are supposed to meet in the gym for a special assignment so everybody okay meet in the gym in five minutes and then you see him walk out the door and head towards the gym 
which the gym is over here. You see all these right. three get up, and you two can move as uh, you all can move and talk about do whatever. As you see, they these three get up and leave in a group. Yeah, and they all walk is, is yeah. Who is actually gonna like try to like go out and interact with 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 with, with Akia and oh. Rik and Riku. You see yeah, he's going to try walking. to, like, catch up with them and interact. Yeah, you see that Hajime is kind of slinking in the back, and these two are talking nonstop. You can tell just by looking at them, they've been best friends forever. Yeah. Okay. What do you say? All right. Oh, my bad. Kota like, approaches, and he's like, Hey, um, I just wanted to say hello because as a person of... In a, yet another bloodline from the Hienera who's kind of vanished a little. I wanted to just make y'all's acquaintance at the bare minimum so that I feel like I've met with people similar to me. Uh, you see Riku hold out his hand and go, nice to meet you, fellow Hienera loser clan. Nice to meet you. Fuyu, very quick, Fuyu is very quick to shake his hand. <laughs> Ichiya then goes, wow, well, looks welcome to the party, man. Let's hope our, we can spread the good word of our Kian era family, hopefully. Let's hope. Speaking of so spreading not... the good word. Oh, wait, no, you're not finished. Okay, I'm, continue. Who you not? And it's like, yep. Honestly, I'm mostly just hoping less for the restoration of my family and more so just surviving this and actually learning my Gers technique. Yeah, I'm trying to outpace my brother in a sense. He's been kind of a dick about our family's financial situation after the plan kind of went down the drain. I mean, honestly, I know a few good places that I do side jobs at. If you want, I could recommend. I could recommend you. You know, I'll think about it. You're Fuyu, right? Yep, Kota Kuna Fuyu. Here, he then holds out his phone and goes, "You wanna trade contacts?" Sure. Fuyu hands him his phone. Uh, Ichikari goes, "Oh, ooh, put mine in. Put mine in." And then you now have. Riku and Aki, Aka, I'm just going to call her Aki, Aki, no, I'm just going to, Aka, you get Aka's phone number. Yeah! They then go, well, we better get to the gym. Nice seeing phone you. Phone number nope. acquired. Bye. All right. All right. After, uh, that after that interaction, he starts to head back, and he, he starts to head back over to Felix and Jessic. As you guys uh, are standing in the, as you guys are standing in the doorway, you hear Cho go, "Get out of the way, extras!" Main character walking through, and then just kind of pushes her way through, and then Cho yes, goes, man. "I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry." <laughs> Kuna gives main her a character. nod of respect as a fellow younger sibling being dragged around. She nods um, and just goes, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry." Oh, sorry. That's her line. Oh. <laughs> You're right. I admire Cho. You know the round Felix... kick did something. Felix looks over to the two. So do you guys know like if this school has a library or anything? Um, from what I remember, dot 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 dot. Maybe. What are you a nerd? <laughs> uh no, I just. Well... Well, yes, actually. Um, well, no, I'm more of a geek. Don't confuse us. I had a nerd friend. He was weird. Anyway, um, I just need to learn more about Jujutsu Society, the Hain era, all that stuff. Well, there's not much to learn about back in the Hain era. Sure, you could find some tomes in history books, but I know for a fact that my family has very minimally mentioned... Well, well, hit well. A part of hit well, the fun part of history is finding new things, not just learning things people already know about. 
I'm sure your every family has a great story somewhere in its history. Yeah. Actually, oh, well, let's get actually, going, I guess. They have a family, apparently. Don't worry. Every don't worry. You don't need a family. End of sentence. Walks away. God, I just realized how small <laughs> you are. Hold up. I just realized how small you are. There we go. Felix is like five. Is that like five foot? Can These I are not play? accurate because he would be too small. All right. Are you going to enter the gym? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. You enter the gym and you mm -hmm. see everybody so. gathered up. Man, ooh, let me bring her in. There she is. And you see, oh my god! <laughs> Fucking huge. A giant. All I wanna be see is see you turn into a giant woman. A giant woman. Giant woman. Oh my god! It's a seven deadly pedophiles character as a giant. What? You guys. <laughs> it's a joke. Okay, we're going to pretend this goal doesn't exist. We're going to use our it was hey guys, it feel game. like a goal should be here. You'll see. It's kind of covered because of fog. So, as you all walk in, you notice a giant glass barrier. And inside <laughs> that glass barrier, you notice... Why can I not grab? Oh, I hate messing with fog. There we go. You notice that. You see all of that. Uh, and this little black uh, line. You. Who in God? Uh, and you notice uh, this black line is actually a giant see through glass wall. Huh. And you see. I the, guess this is where it starts. And you see these curses walking about, flying around, doing all that. You then, oh my god, they're so much uglier than I could have imagined. You then hear Miss Inari say, Hello! Hello, everybody, and welcome to my class. I am Miss Inari, your teacher. Since most of Jujutsu and most of your way of life currently is going to be fighting curses, on the first day, we're going to have you fight a bunch of curses to see what level you are at. Let's go. Oh, just throwing us into the fire. Good. Right in, yes, that's how we work here at Jujutsu. Throwing you right in the you fire. I need something to shoot right now. Or punch. Are I don't you, have my gun on me. Who are you trying to see if, if, if Minami is here? Because he really, really, really needs to make sure with his mentor that it's okay if he can, for him to use his curse technique, if at all. Do you want to go? You can go talk to her. She's just standing at the front. Yeah, he'll he'll like he'll kind of like he'll kind of just like slow he'll like slowly approach and just say, "Am, are, am I allowed to use my curse technique at this point?" Uh, yeah, I don't see why not. It should be fine. Just you know, don't. If it gets a bit too crazy, I'll have to you know do the good old one two. If you catch my drift. You, you yeah. know what my drift is. You've experienced the good old one two before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you all seen Dragon Ball Z abridged? I know this oh. may seem like a side yeah. tangent. So you know the Mister Dragon... Popo, you know Mister Popo, right? In Dragon Ball Z abridged, yeah. Yeah. that's the kind of. I think that's the sort of. That's the best way I can summarize the relationship between the, between these two. But at the same time, it goes both ways. Uh, nice. They're both. They're both each other. They rewatch Dragon Ball Bridge. I haven't seen it in a while. Yeah, man. they did a commentary. Yeah. You could do that. But yeah, in that case, Kotakuna is gonna like is gonna probably be the first one to like start oh, approaching up. and. Yeah, hold up. I gotta do something. I accidentally showed the Alabear stuff. Whoa! -oh. It wasn't anything major. It's just my email. I just gotta put a black screen up so nobody can see. Whoops. That. I hope no one tries to. Um, hope yeah. you don't forget to edit that one out in the I future. I wrote a timer, so well. Also, I'm just gonna look through it. I just gotta do something because I don't want to because I have stuff set up. But the only way to set it up is to show everybody 
like their HP and stuff like that, and I don't want to do that. Well, so somebody have, have like five HP. Yeah, so I have like two devices set up. Okay. All right. So, um, you guys can talk amongst yourself as she explains that uh, for our first year, you guys are all going to have to fight these first these curses, and we are going to see what level you guys you are all at. If you cannot beat, currently, there are two third grades. Oh, no, two fourth grade curses, as she points back to these two bigger looking curses. She says, that right back there is a, uh, a grade four curse. Felix raises his hand. How many grades are there? There are currently five grades. And the fifth grades are those little fly heads. So it goes, so, so I'm assuming it goes fifth is the weakest, fourth, then third, second, first, and zero grade. Uh, well, is there is technically uh, a. F well, God, I am trying to do stuff while talking, not a good idea. Well, currently, the grades go fifth. Fourth, third, second, first, and then special grade, which I guess we considered would technically be grade zero. And yeah, this, see, uh, for the special kids of curses. Yes, those are very strong. And then you see Jihari leave because he realizes he's not ne he's not needed here, and he walks back to the classroom. Yes, special grades are dangerously strong, and I recommend you do not fight them, because you will most certainly die. Uh, but these guys, I, 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 could beat, I could beat the hell out of these guys, right? We can, we oh, can yes. beat them up. No, no, no. You should yeah. have almost no trouble. Hopefully. Good. Okay. Right. I go to, I turn to the rest of the class. Who here would like to go in first? Be our oh, front line. We well, I she actually kind of. Oh, you're going in. There's a yeah. I was, gonna, yeah. I was gonna say that as Felix was saying that Kotokuna had already started was like had already started walking in. All right. Uh, let me set some stuff up. Oh crap! <laughs> Deleted one. Whoops. I guess one of the I one of the curses killed like, themselves. Uh, it's you like know, they witness these they witness Kodakuna Fu yo. They witness Fu you walk in and they had a PTSD moment thinking it back to the he and era and just ended it before Fu you could reach him. <laughs> it's like it's like Muzin not Muzin, Muzon in Demon Slayer where he just gets a flashback just oh god. Anytime he sees Hanafuda earrings, he thinks of Yoruichi. Yoruichi from Bleach. <laughs> Wait, wrong Yoruichi. Bro, crap, not him. Uh, what Yoru was his name? I, 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 forget, I forgot how to pronounce his name Yoru now. Yoruichi. It is Yoruichi. There's two Yoruichi. Yoru Yoruichi. Yoruichi. Same difference. Look, what? they're both cool. We got this. Now, now I want someone to draw an art of Yoruichi and Yoruichi. Whatever. Okay. Um, just handshaking. As you walk in, you see her kind of give you a thumbs up, like, that's my student. Go get him, tiger. I assume, like, I want to, like, immediately try to use my curse technique, hold but up, at the same up. time, I don't... Yeah, I figured okay. I'd have to wait. Well, dude, son of a... I deleted... No, I didn't. We're good. I thought <laughs> I deleted another one. Okay, screw it. I know what these guys' health is. I don't need to track it. Okay. As you walk in, does um You're just gonna see it. I'm tired of it. Okay. As you guys walk in, does Felix or Jesse wanna join him? I go I'll on. walk in with him, I guess. Right. I'll, I'll go back after Jesse. Yep, I'm there now. Yeah. I look over at I look over at Cho and I was like, 
main character going in fourth? She go, uh, you hear Inari, Miss Inari, say, Help, it looks like group two is going in. Oh, group three is going in. Trying to set this stuff up on a phone is very hard. Okay. Um, um, so I feel for you. What is your health, Felix? 20. Felix is 15. Wait, not, no, not no, Felix. Felix, okay. my not health Felix. 15. I meant, uh, sorry, I meant Fuyu. Fuyu, what's your health? Yeah, yeah mine is 25. Okay. And what's your AC? Five. All right. Uh, Jesse, what's your health and AC? Um, my health twenty five and my AC is seven. Okay. Twenty five. Uh. You should know mine. We already played this. I don't. I don't remember or have it set up. So what's your stuff? Oh, it's. My my health is fifteen and my AC is f f f five. Cinco. That's what happens when you don't. Okay. Fifteen. Yeah, my health is fifteen. Uh, what do you say was AC? Five. Okay. As soon as you walk in, okay. you see these curses. Uh, you first see the fly heads kind of get close to you, and they sort of swarm in. And then you see these two big reptile curses kind of slowly inch for you, and I would like everybody to roll initiative, which is just speed checks. Okay. How do I do Walks that? in first. And uh, also I for you. Go to that. Nat one. Oh, you, you get a one. Hold up. You're on the... Oh, other. I also got a one. Whoops. <laughs> what do you mean? Why'd you roll twice? I... No, wait, I didn't roll the first time. I was joking that I'd end up going last, and that I actually am going last now. Hey, look, we're, we're la the last squad. Let's go. All right. Save the best for last. So, Jesse. So, F Fuyu got a one. What did Felix get? A one as well. All right. Uh, Jesse, what'd you roll? You just got to roll speed. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to roll it. Where's Click on the dice in the top left corner. The big yeah, 20. Yeah, I did. Click on it. Yeah. Go to 1d6. Okay. Then click roll. I got a 6. Okay. And you only have a 1 in speed, right? Hmm? You only have a 1 in speed? What's your speed stat? I have a 2 in speed. Okay, so roll another d6. Oh, okay. So I got you a technically two. have an eight in speed. Okay. These things... An initiative. Initiative, yes. These fly heads... I'm just going to count the fly heads as one thing. They all are yeah. going to move on... They got a three. A lizard curse one, which is this guy. The guy on the far left. Ooh. I forgot how beefy these guys are. He had 10. A 10, oh damn. So Lizard Curse 1 got a 10. Lizard Curse 2. Oops. No, no, crap. It's... Got a 7. 7. Okay. So. What is this dude? What are you. Also. Also, by the way, House, I'm oh. assuming I don't have my gun on me right now. Yeah, you do. Oh, I have my gun on me? Yeah, you're about to fight. Oh, yeah, you're always, you're nice. always strapped. You never know when I'm going to fight. Yeah, I'm always off. strapped. Damn. All right. So, start off. You see Lizard Curse 1 move exactly. Uh, one, two, three, four. He goes up to Fuyu, since he is the first one walking up, and he goes, he raises his claws and goes in for a slash attack, which is uh -oh. power, which is two. Does oh, so you're going to try the green bot, um, battle music again? Oh, yeah, let me do that. Does an eight hit. 
An eight would indeed hit. All right, hang on. Let me start. Okay. Uh, if I start cutting Hopefully. out, tell me, because that means just green bot is mm -hmm. fucking everything up. Damn you, green bot! It was fine when you were recording with green bot last time. Yeah, sure, but there right? are a lot of people in here. So there we go. So he doesn't eight, and he's going to roll one d eight for damage. How does dodging and blocking work? Okay. Oh yeah, do you want to dodge or block? Yeah, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to dodge. I'm still gonna ignore that he did got a nat eight for damage. He got nat one. A nat I one saw it for one. damage. Okay. So yeah, I mean a nat to one. To dodge or block, you essentially roll, um, reactivity for so speed. Yeah, just you either roll speed or power. Speed to dodge, um, power to block. And speed. In that case, speed you take no damage. Uh, block you take whatever you roll your. I think you roll. Rolls you roll you roll um like you're attacking, for power and whatever you get is you take away from the actual attack. So for example, if you roll. Yeah, you roll um, the damage. Four. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you roll, uh, however much your power is in d sixes, and that's how less damage you take. But you can only you yeah. Only so have one instead reaction. of yeah, instead of dodging, I'm gonna block instead, though. <laughs> and that is vastly more than I need to block. Okay, I want to say, do you want to use curse energy to reduce the damage even further? But it got a one in damage, so you. <laughs> I assume you're not going to. Unless you want to be active. Yeah, I'm not going. I'm not going to. It raises its claws, and it, you instantly use your curse energy, and you float into your arms, and it just hits it, and it does nothing. I, sh I shield bash parry this creature like it's an Elden Ring fight. Yes. Okay, Jesse, your turn. Oh, shit. You better do something hmm. cool. With this song right, playing, you better right, do something right. cool. So, um, you don't freeze have, directly fine. in front. You're fine. Yeah, I know. Freeze directly in front of me. Well, no, you're not. He's to the left of me. So, what are you gonna. You can just move. I'm thinking you, about. Oh, hold up. I gotta. There. Now you're in squares. Alright. Uh, your I'm movement is 30 feet, and every square is 5 feet. You can also use you can also use the measure tool by pressing M or in the I don't know my left from right the right side you can use it to also what? measure out distance in either movement or plane distance. Okay. On the Go on. I kind of want to pounce on lizard curse too. Not okay. gonna lie. So run up to it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Okay, uh, so do you just want to punch it? I want to, like, p jump up, pounce on its head, and just that one... punch it right in its skin flesh, if that's okay. possible. Yes. Uh, that if you go into the Class 1C dock, there's a bunch of stuff you can do, and since you have a power level of 3, correct? Um, I have a power level of 1. Okay, power so start. you can only do punch for power level. Related okay. Stuff. Technique stuff? You can... What's your technique? I have three in technique. Okay, so you can do everything in technique, and you can only punch for power. Okay. So you might want to look through that, because your technique is going to do a lot more damage than your power. Okay, I need to find it again. I'd like to roundhouse kick it on top okay. of its head. Roll uh, uh, d6s in your technique. So since you have three in technique, roll three d6s to hit. Okay. You hit. Twelve. So roll the damage, which is... Uh... So it's D6s in tech, so 3D6s, because your technique level in D6s plus your technique. Okay. 
So 3d6 plus 3. So 12 plus 3. You do 15 damage to this thing. Yeah, plus my technique. So how do you want to... Do you want to describe how... Or do you want me to describe it? Uh, You describe it for now, preferably. Okay, so you go um, up. You raise, you get on one foot, raise, roundhouse kick this thing right in the side, and you can tell that hurt a lot. Mm -hmm. It is not nice. okay. It is doubled over. It is, oh, it is in pain. You can tell you're kicking yeah, so a lot it, of damage. Fuck it. So, uh, next up, okay. Lizard Curse right. Two. Since you just kicked this thing square in the side it is going to let me see its moves okay. it is going to jump back and it is going to you see it curl up into a ball and you see spikes shoot out of its back and it rushes towards you okay Does a six hit? Okay. Does a six hit you? Yep. Six does. Wait. Your AC's, how do what's I? Your a, what's your AC? What's your AC? Seven. Okay, it doesn't hit you then. Okay, so six, six doesn't hit. Okay. So as you see this, it turns into a spiky ball of death. It rushes towards you. You see it coming, and you dodge out of the way as it just. And it smacks into this fly head right here. And let's see how much damage it does to the fly head. Let's see if it kills Old it. Thing. Nine. Um, <laughs> uh oh. Do you see this thing evaporate <laughs> as it rams through it, doing 11 damage? Technically, they have 12 health. But I'm going to say it just kills it outright. I love that. All right. Uh, Felix. You're up. Felix okay. or Re uh, Fuyu, whoever. We will let you go first because you got a big, powerful Oh, wait, technique. no, I forgot. I forgot. The fly heads go. Flies. They're just going to fly around. They don't do anything. They just kind of buzz around, kind of float around this thing. They then you see this one just walk up to you for some reason. Right. <laughs> so who wants to go first, Hello. Felix or Fuyu? I let Fuyu go first because you got a big powerful technique. Great! Right. Oh, this is right? gonna Are be fun. It? Are we doing it? I think we're doing the okay. thing. Just roll, uh, roll a d100. <laughs> it is the bottom yep. thing, oh. the very bottom. Yep. Just roll that. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Okay. Let me look it up. Uh, roll intelligence. <laughs> okay. Oh god. Yeah, I have a one intelligence, so this is gonna be a disaster. Uh, I. That's a one. Oh my god. It's a one. Oh, oh. You get. Hold on. Nothing. Can I use? What? Uh oh. Uh oh. What do can you I mean? use whoops for this? Can yes. I use whoops to re-roll this? Did we? Oh, we didn't re-roll. We nope. didn't get any of your stuff set up. Okay, that's a bit better. Uh -oh. I'll give you that. It's a. Yeah. <laughs> it's slightly better. Thirty-two. It's no, it's just a two. No, a no, no. Singular well, you two. rolled a thirty. You rolled a thirty-two. Yeah, the number I rolled early was thirty-two. Okay. Um, I'm going to say you get the name of the curse technique with that roll. Yeah. You get immortality. Immortality. Yeah. You got Wait immortality. a minute. <laughs> that is the name the of the technique. Kind of like... So if he uses curse energy and he's like, he like you... keeps. He thrusts his hand out again as if trying to use a repulsor blast if <laughs> Iron Man and nothing, nothing happens, happens and he's like, wait, wait a minute. Well, no, okay, I'm going Screw to say it. whenever you roll it, it's kind of like a thing of you kind of notice like, oh, okay, judging by the feel of this and my curse energy, I know what this is. And then you just get the name. All right. Okay. So he knows what it, okay. So. Knowing that his curse technique is this, I must. Am I able to take? Am I able to still attack this turn? Yes. Uh. No. 
Uh, uh, he's like... No, 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 no. Because for Felix, you can only use a curse technique. Your curse technique counts as your action. Yeah. So how much curse technique using... does it use? Uh, did we decide on that? I think it was like... You two. said you decide this. Yeah, you said you. Yeah, you said you. It would be one to activate my curse technique, and then it, you would change. Yeah. You'd say, depending on the technique, it uh, would be yeah. different. It takes two curse energy to activate it. Yay! So you lose two curse energy, and you can uh, still move if you want. Fuyu, Fuyu is going to like position, like shift around. He's gonna like can, shift yeah, around. To position himself between, like, in you're a way, like, between the, the three. Too. You're going to want to move. Yeah, to your I was hand. trying to measure it out to make the headroom. I was good. I'm going to move myself in between the three of them. All right. Felix, you're up. What do you want to do? Ah, I, I look at Fuyu and go, wow. Hey, no you don't offense, know. man, but like. You didn't. All you saw was his, like, curse energy spike, and that was it. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I honestly. I expected more, but fine, yeah. anyway. I, yeah, me too. Anyway. Last, I mean, again, last time I used this, a meteor happened. Um, yeah, I, 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 I was there. I saw the meteor. It was huge. Pod, you could have got a good one if you got 33. You could have got Yeah, I think anymore. they called it planetary destruction. I don't, I don't know, though. Anyway, I pull out a gun. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, roll technique to hit somebody. Wait, first, wait, first, I'm gonna pull out what one of the you? six bullets in my revolver and imbue it with curse energy. Okay, that's a uh, roll. What's your technique? I'm um, two. Okay. Nine. Yes. I do I in... okay. You infuse it uh, with well... curse energy, which means it has an extra one d four to damage if you hit. Yes. Which. I just, well, <laughs> Let's see if you can hit. I I I do while I'm doing this. I'm am calmly walking up. Everything I said to um Fuyu, I I said while calmly walking up and imbuing my curse energy into You're my gun. And just walk up thing? direct. Yes, directly okay. in his face. Seven. Well, let me check. Does not. <laughs> Oh no, okay. Hold up. You are doing it point blank. I'll give you advantage. Yes, I'm You are literally putting this thing to its temple. I'll give you advantage. Yes. Nine. That hits. That hits. The gun jams. It would have if you rolled low again. So uh, Wow. We said, so... one, we, uh, we said one D eight, right? Oh uh, one D ten. One D ten, yes. Okay, one D ten. It was 1d10 plus speed. That would be 11 plus the um, imbued energy. In total, about 13 damage. Okay. Uh, do yeah, 13 that. damage. Hold up. Hold up. It was 1d10. It had a 40 feet of range and does 1d10 plus speed of damage. Okay. Alright, you point Blake this thing right in the head and you see it kind of react a bit, but it overall just kind of tanks it. <laughs> God damn it. And on the side. I, I look up for you. Yeah. I look up for you. Well, look, we're, we're both useless, okay? We can, we, we can, we can hollow in our shame together. You see I mean, everybody. I, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. And I mean, I'm not. It's not that we're both with this. It's just you're using a gun, and apparently I'm invincible now. I'm fucking invincible. Well, then everyone fight him. Okay. You, as you see, you've noticed that everybody has uh, filed into the stand, and they are all cheering you on. And Miss Ignari, whenever you rolled, whenever you did your curse technique, Fuyu, you, you actually notice her kind of give a sigh of relief, like, oh, thank God. Oh, shit. All right, who's up? Would be Jess? No, it would be, it'd um, be the Lizard second. Curse one. 
Yeah, yep. He was just shot in the oh, head. It looks, <laughs> it looks up from getting shot in the head, and it looks pissed. It he did it, I point to Jesse. It does not believe you. Hold up, I gotta find it. What? Okay, it is going to bite you. Vengeful little. There's a seven. seven hit. Um, yes. Okay. Uh, that is an eight. That's eight damage. Eight? Uh, oh, god damn it. <laughs> So I'm oh, that's, that's not a negligible. That's all the guy can okay, shrug well, off. See it. Yeah. I'm just gonna do it like this. So you, oh, yeah. Uh, how you feeling? Wait, that's hang on. Ah! I, I can do that. Yeah. I can, I feeling? grit my teeth. Oh I gotta, damn! I gotta you grit can... my teeth to go. Okay, I'm not a close range and. It is, okay, so what it did is that it, since it's on the ground on all fours, kind of walked up and chomped into your leg, and then it let go and ran over to Chris Spirit 2. Oh yeah, you scared it off. Way to go. Thanks, man. Like you are missing it was like all a, a part of the plan. chunk of your calf. Okay, Jesse, you're up. Yeah, I've had this idea cooking for a bit. So the fly head next to me, right? Mm -hmm. I wanna pick it up, the boy's ugly little head. Yeah. I wanna throw it into the air, alright? Are you going to- yeah, go ahead. Are you gonna bicycle and kick And I want- thing? I want to fucking kick it right into Lizard Curse number two. Alright, <laughs> don't buy A, go no. ahead, roll- I'm gonna say, roll- Tech to hit. Tech like how many bye. times? Boom, bye, yay. Or um, star D6. Yes. Um, how much, how much, what do you have in tech? It's Two whatever D6. your, you oh. roll D6s okay. in your tech. Okay. My tech is free. So it's free, D6. <laughs> Did you okay. learn this from anybody in particular? I got a 11, I think. You have a 3? Oh, yeah, you have a 3 in tech. Uh, yeah, yeah, that hits this thing. Uh, I'm going to say just do... I'm going to say do kick, but add an extra d4. Oh, do you want to... Okay, do you want to infuse... Uh, Oh, you can't do that. Never mind. You're going to do an extra d4 because you were throwing a fly head at it. Okay. I That's, got a 3. No, no, no. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Huh? Uh, kick is you do, uh, you roll your technique, how, whatever your technique level is, you roll d4 in that. So I roll 3d4? 3d4 for damage, plus your technique level. Actually, roll 4 because I'm okay. giving you the extra. Oh. So okay, eight, I roll again. 8 plus an extra d4. Okay. No, 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 However, it is hissed, and it's its turn. It is going to do the same thing it did last time. It's going to curl up in a ball and try to hit you. Okay. This is Jesse versus the two curses. Don't worry. It, I'll do oh my, my best to help out next time. It misses again. It just... it From the loss, from getting hit so bad, it just flies off in a completely separate direction. I don't know what I'm going to do next turn. Alright. 
Um, well, there's always more little fly heads you can kick. Fly at. heads <laughs> fly around this fly. time uh, because they saw what you did. Why can I not move? What the fuck? Why can I not move these? It's called being paralyzed by fear. Yeah, you see these things uh, fly oh, away from you. You see this one kind of go in. It, you see this one kind of go in. Then it goes nah, and it flies <laughs> away. This one, oh, uh, just, they all kind of just stay in the same position. Why can I not grab the characters? Okay. All right, uh, you're, who wants to go first? Felix? Well, okay. Who you went first last time? Felix, you're up next. We're just going to switch back and forth. Okay, Felix is not well, and he's not well, and he sees that everyone else is doing better than him, and like, okay. Okay, um, first of all, what interesting objects are around me? Uh, is there any other tile objects? Floor, you could technically, the tile floor and the see-through glass. Hey, um, mm -hmm. if you're willing to take a suggestion, I'd, like, who you, like, who you's gonna just suggest that he sits back and shoots with his gun instead of running up on anybody? By the way, do I still have my Shikigami hat? You're disintegrated. God damn you. Um, well, it ran out, well, it ran out of time. They only last for like a minute or something like that. I can probably ch fat check that, whatever. And he goes to um, Fuyu. You know what? You're right. You know what? You're right. But I have a cooler plan. He takes one of his bullets from his gun. And he's going to use his curse technique on his bullets. All right. Roll these. Uh, roll technique. Roll control track. But just technique. Seven. All right. You succeed. What are you turning this bullet into? Well, a bullet class Shiki, one of my bullet class Shikigamis. Okay, what is it going to look like? Oh, okay, well, um, question. It's just going to look... Question, are you using the glove or not? No glove, no glove, just regular. Okay, okay. what does it look like? Um, it is a, very, it is a, it, the, basically the bullet, um, gets an eye, uh, gets a one singular eye at the top of it. Perfect. And grows longer more angular and i can and gross and out of the back it kind of looks like a like a rocket that kind of throws it into the air okay. uh, and I roll, throw my... roll its initiative initiative bullet clashy you got me have a uh, green speed so. 10. jesus christ okay yeah, my... my Shikigami are fast, bro. <laughs> hey, it has the same... Okay. Alright. There it is. Okay. Well, I... That's all I can do this turn. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, uh, Fuyu, do something cool. Oh, yeah, by the way, before I end, I go to Fuyu. Yeah? I, I got a cooler idea than just shooting them. This is the point here, after all, to show your power. Alright, you're up, Fuyu. You? Great. I guess what I'm gonna do is something I can do because of my three power. Well, I don't need three power for it. I just need two. Fuyu's gonna just make a mad dash towards this lizard over here, and Fluria blows it. Alright. Perfect. This song is perfect for that. Yay. The best part is I have the volume turned on so I can hear so I don't even know what song is playing. Oh, it's Must Die. Oh, perfect. So that's 3d6, so that's power level d6, Which so it's 3d6, and then it's plus my power of 3. Uh, no, 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 that's just to, yeah, it's three, it's, to hit is just your power level. So you got 10. Oh, there's a 10. Yes. So how much damage are you doing? Great. Time for me to roll and find out. 12 plus 3, so that's 15 you, okay. damage from Hold just... <laughs> Do you want to infuse curse energy into this? You know what? Why not? Sure. All right. Roll control check. Uh oh, now i got to figure out what my control is. Uh, it's technique. That'll Great, matter so whenever we get okay, to you know what? 
It'll be fine. It's a you six. You succeed. Add an extra d4. So you have 15 plus this d4. 15. You do... 17 points of damage. All right. You do... Perfect. How are you describing killing... Oh, well, no. Uh, how are you going to flurry a blows this thing? So, Kotakuna, like, as he's charging over, he seems to, like, start doing an irregular pattern of movement as he's go Like, is it dying from this? That's what I need to know. Mm -mm. It still has health. Oh, I'll tell in you that case... Uh, great. So, it's, like... He starts to just like start. He starts making these odd motions, and his curse energy flow starts to change. As he's going to use, as he's going to use uh, one of the one of the one of the martial arts techniques I told you about. I'll send you the name. Uh, I well, okay. Or do you want me to just say it? Do you want me to just say it? I okay. I didn't okay. I didn't approve fully of this. Let me reread it to see. Okay, if it's just for flavor, go ahead. If yeah, it's, it's not, just for flavor. It's just okay, for flavor. Okay, I was like, if this is adding damage, I don't know about that. But if yeah, it's just no, for flavor, it's just go for, ahead. It's just for flavor. Go ahead. So he's, yeah, he's using the third step if you want to read over it yourself or just wait for the description. But he goes in and he starts to land, like throwing all these punches with his curse energy behind them. And people can wit people bear witness to seeing this cursed spirit start to erode as if and just start to wither out like start to erode okay the curse, as if a corrosive liquid was poured upon it you see where your punches have landed have made like marks and those marks slowly begin to melt away as you see its skin begin to not just disintegrate but actually kind of like slosh off of it a bit Awesome. Right. How much how much movement do I have left? Because I might want to backpedal a little. Uh, how much you move? You have thirty plus your speed. Because I I move ten, so I still have I have I have twenty plus one. Uh, twenty plus five because it's times five. Oh, five. You get one extra space three, essentially. Three. So yeah, three, so yeah. After after. Laying hands on that creature, I'm gonna I'm gonna backtrack a little and get and like take take up a defense of his team near Felix so that nothing he jumps him and kills him. Right, I, I I I am perfectly capable. Um, Felix pats you on the back. Good job, good job, bro. Uh huh. Be be careful. Um, there's a defensive stance that I haven't fully learned for this, and it might cause you to melt. Or slowly lose life force. I don't fully comprehend it. Just be don't worry. I not, don't worry. Mentally, right. I died years ago. Um, I'll be right back. So just keep on talking. Okay. I'm probably gonna cut Hi, this out, too. anyways. Aww. Or just keep on talking. I don't Hi, care. It, I'll Great. look over it. If it's you. good, I'll keep it in. Look, it's the third look time I've tried look. to say hi, you two. Is anyone gonna say anything else? Uh, the, the, to assassinate the U.S. president, there is a perfectly hi, you good too. build. Hi, you two. I'm Kodaka. Good. Y'all don't know. I, you, you know. Hi. Let's Boy, be hi. let's be reasonable here. Every single time I make a rep, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Hey, YouTube. Try hey, YouTube. your best to figure out what curse technique I have. You'll fail. Also, please. Have fun talking about our characters. If, if if this is in the video, we don't even know if it'll be there. Have fun talking about our characters. Write your own theories and ideas. Come on. Write just your own do fan it. fiction. Ship us. Exactly. I don't care. Ship By us. the way, for you ship for, for you shippers, Kodakuna is in fact pansexual. He will go any which way. Use him to your heart's desire. Exactly the same for Felix, actually. Damn, I'm not okay. really sure. I'm not really sure what Jesse's. Um, yes, he is. Yes, he's questioning. Yeah, <laughs> questionable <laughs> as well. It's. Have you seen that GIF? All right, I'm back. What GIF? Have oh, you seen hi, the welcome GIF back. From the. Sh I was gonna. Hurt. Yeah. Anyway, um, it's Bullet's turn. Uh, it's actually. Isn't it? Wait. 
Bullet can go up. Yeah, bullet can go up. Okay, bullet's turn. I have a question. Yeah. I want bullet to do like an arcing path. They kill these guys and then hit him. Then hit lizard too. Can bullet I'm do that? Going to say, roll technique, bullet. What is bullet technique? Okay. One. <laughs> okay. Okay. So never mind. <laughs> Can I just hit? Um. Yeah. I, I'm just gonna go try to. Well, it's just gonna go ram directly through there. Um, that would probably you know the be wound like... I made. Huh? The, what? You know the wound. I, you know the wound I made when I first shot him. Bullet's gonna ram directly through that. All right, move bullet. Oh, here he just rams into him. Roll. I'm going to say this is a uh, a tackle. So roll power. Okay. That's good. You know, for damage is D4. Uh, yeah. No, you did Five didn't plus. You have to hit. Oh. I have to hit things? Six. That does not hit. He God lambs into that it. spot, and he does not do anything. He's just kind of staying there. Why why do I get so bad rows? I'm the Verona. Oh my god, I hate my life. Okay, uh Curse Spirit 1 is going to look at Jesse. It is going to do the same thing Curse Spirit 2 has been trying to do, and it's gonna spin attack you. It curls up to okay. a ball, and it's gonna try to hit. Third time. Insert Sonic theme. Does a seven hit? What? This is not Sonic. This is Metal Gear. Does seven hit? I'm seven AC, so I don't know. I'm gonna say it, it hits. Yeah, it has to match or get a ball. So that is okay. That is not. Oh my god! A nine plus oh my three. God. That does 12 damage as it rams into you. Do you want to use your curse technique? Yep. It rams into you, its spines slash into your face, and it looks bad. Like, your face is completely cut up. However, you use your curse technique, which halves it down to only 6 damage. Yeah. Uh, How do I get a boost? Hang on, I'm doing math. All right. What's 25? 25 minus 9 is... Um, 12. 16. 12. What's 25 minus 12? 13. 25 minus 12? 13. Oh, no. Yeah. no, no, no. It's 6. 6. Because you have it. Oh, this is simple. Yeah. You're at 19 health. Okay. And remember, you have 6 left over that you're going to take. Yep. However, because you took 6 damage, you get plus 3 to all... Power and technique rolls. Okay. And you That's have spicy. to. And remember, you have to hit him next turn, or else you are taking it. Okay. Okay. Because that'd be your whole tag so, ability. So it's my turn now. It is your turn. So hit him. You have to hit him by the end of this turn, or else you were taking six damage. You have to hit so, something. Have my stud. Have that my stud increased in general. Uh, you get just plus three, not three extra dice, just plus three. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking about how to go about this real quick. Mm. Think wisely. Um, does this mean I can use power level three moves, like targeted strike, or no? No. So if you roll, okay. like, technique, you get a plus three to that roll. And if you roll first energy, oh, yeah. first, like a control check, you get plus three to that roll. Okay, I see. Um, so you get plus three to your rolls, not three extra dice. That'd be insane. Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna... So this, he could um, be... Okay, go ahead. Can I position myself? Uh, yeah, you can move. Uh, 30 right. feet of movement plus however much speed you have. Alright. 
so I move like 25 feet. Good. You're going after the fly head? Yep. Yeah. Can you guess what I'm going to do? What are you going to do? Volleyball time again. I'm going to pick it up by its ugly head. Oh, okay. Not this time. I'm going to throw it in the air like a volleyball. <laughs> but which one do I want to go for? I'll go for the lizard quest one. Okay. I'm going and to say... Is that lined up? Uh, yeah. Uh, go on. Go on. Um, I wanted to line up so I can drop kick it into Lilith Curse 1. Okay, go ahead. All you right. grab it, and you're gonna drop kick it, right? Yep, uh, into Lilith Curse 1. Drop kick, that's technique. So roll to hit for technique. Yeah. Uh, I, for a second, I thought you were doing. For a second, I thought you were doing the Shido bicycle kick with the little ball thing. I thought at first he was gonna bicycle kick, like throw it up and then smack it mm -hmm. with a bicycle kick. Okay, roll technique. Is that D6 still? Yes, D6s. Um, three D6s? Yes. It's your technique level in D6s. Seven. That does not hit it's its actually armor. A rather... But you, it does not hit it as it has, I can reveal this to you, an armor class of eight. So does this thing. Damn. You do kill, okay, well, world damage on the fly head. Because you still drop kick the fly head, which is, drop kick is uh, technique level in D4 plus technique. Next so, level in D4. 3D4. Five. Plus. So that. Oh, that these are rather low rolls for so what you're five doing. Five yeah. plus. Three. Uh, three. Eight. Do you want. I'm going to say, do you want to include curse energy into this attack? Um, how would that make a difference? Holy. Exactly? Wait. No, no, no. I messed up. You have a plus what? three. You hit this thing. Because uh, of your plus three, it's not a seven. You got a ten. Oh. Nice. Yeah. So you hit this thing. Good about that. So roll for damage. So eight. Just re-roll your damage because I messed up. Three d four. Three d four. Five again. Same thing. So eight. Do you want to infuse your attack with curse energy, which means you get, if you succeed a control check, you get an extra d four, and you could potentially black flash. Yo, you do mean it. potentially Black Flash? He could. How do I, how do, I do a control check? D6? Uh, control is technique, so this roll technique. Okay. Three. Uh, no, uh, roll three. Three D6. Three D6. Right. right. Fourteen. Hold up. Hold up! Would that be a No, 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 I'm thinking of... I'm thinking of something else. You're good. You can only black flash on the control check. Hold up. What? Check in the rules. Oh, no. No, no. Okay, so basically, if you if you crit on a control check, which means you either reach the max you can get or you get above, you black flash, which two times your damage. Yeah. So instead, you just get an extra d4. Okay. So roll a d4, which you're at 8 right now, plus a d4. 2. So you do 10 damage to this. Alright. Uh, this thing, again, explodes. You were one off from Jesse Black just... you were Damn. You were one off from Black Flash. That would have been so sick if I got it done. Yeah, a black but flash still will rob kick. That still will live, though. You still do a lot of damage to it. Okay. It is on death's door. It does not look good. Mm hmm Alright. But I tagged it, right, so... You the tagged it. Persist? Yeah, because you hit okay. the fly head, that counts as attack. So your plus three still persists. Nice. Which, don't forget to remind me about that, because that would have been bad. Um... Do the, do the buff stack at all, or no? Huh? It stacks, yes. Okay. 
So you still have that six damage left over. So, so are we um, taking now? Lizard Curse Two is going to attack Bullet. It is going to do Try it. Well, who knows? Maybe it'll be like that last bullet. It's going to slash at it. Eight. This eight hit bullet. That most definitely does, but bullet can dodge. No, it can't. I'm just gonna say no. That's. Oh. What do you mean you can just gonna say no? That is, if these things can. Well, no, you only can break two. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say. You can I only dodge. create two. No, yeah, go don't ahead. Don't die. Go ahead. I can only create two. Okay. Oh my. This is really intense music for. Two Shikigami fighting. It completely He's... dodges. Yeah, dodges. It moves out of the way, completely dodges the attack. Sorry, um, you can't kill a bullet this time. My bullets live. Anyway. Uh, Fuyu, your turn. Is it bullet's turn? Oh no, Fuyu's turn. Bullet already went. We're still in the same turn order. Uh, Fuyu, you're up. Singularity. Press Discord buttons. We all Anyways. Back. Okay. Yeah, so Kodo, my boy Kodakuna, he's going to... He's good. Let me see how far I can move. He's gonna... Huh. Yeah, these are more of a threat. He's gonna move... He's gonna move 10 feet to make his way on over. To this cursed to curse spirit two. Oh no, that's curse spirit one. That's one. And he's gonna go. And he's just curse spirit one. You don't want. Oh no. Yeah. Go ahead. He's going to attack curse spirit one. Does a seven? That does not hit. I think a seven misses, doesn't it? it Whoops. Misses. So you go for the blow and. It
Riku yeah. goes up to you and is like, hey, man, it's fine. And he pats you on the back. Like, it's fine. Thanks. All right. Thanks, Riku. Uh, Lizard Curse 1, it is going to attack you, Fuyu, with... Yeah. Uh, with Slash 1d8. Uh, let's see if it hits. Does a 5 hit? That's my exact armor class. Okay, so do you want to dodge, block, or do any of that? I'm going to block. Okay, well, first off, let's see what it's... Uh, God, block is so good. Uh, that's 4 damage. Eight. I'm going to say... And I'm block. Okay, I'm going to say half that, because... It still negates everything. Because taking eight damage off of everything is insane. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, so, yeah. I, I don't. I mean, I see it as just doing as just enough instead of being such a high number anyway. So yeah. Yeah, I was. I almost want to put it down to like one d six, but that feels kind of. I don't know. I'll decide that later. But uh, it does no damage. As it slices into you, you raise up your guard, put first energy into it, and completely block it. All right. Um, it is uh, Felix his turn. What are you? He's gonna sit there. Uh, I ask, hey, Miss Inari, since I left, can someone else substitute to help my team? No. Sorry, no. No, sorry, okay, this okay. was a group thing. I kinda I kinda walk myself back in. As you walk in, the whole class up. gives a little golf lap like Woo! You got this man. You got it. I'm gonna load my I wanna imbue my curse energy into one more bullet. Control check. Oh, I think I just skipped over Jesse. Oh, go ahead. Then we'll go Jesse. Yeah, I did. Okay. Gonna load it. I'm gonna aim it at Curse 2. Alright. You. Oh my god. You miss. It bounces off of it. <laughs> and I go back and I walk back out. Okay, Jesse, your turn. Uh, all right. Wait, um, Miss, you're not supposed to. Oh, okay. Uh, you. All right, he's just gone. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, please Jesus come back me. when the exercise is over. I I I give a thumbs up. All right. Like I walk here and I give a thumbs up. And... Okay. Uh, you're up, Jesse, because I skipped your turn. Okay. Listen, he might not know it, but I'll get Felix an assist kill. I... I try to take hold of the bullet, Shikigami. Mm -hmm. Is that possible? Yeah. Roll for technique if you want to throw it. Oh, yeah. Um... However, I will say it will destroy... Bullet will take the same amount of damage. It's okay. Oh, it will. Bullet's listening. I, the last Over. command I gave Will it was to listen to Mister. Fuck it, Weeble. Oh my. That does not hit any unless you're throwing it at the fly head. That does not hit anything. Um. Well, I guess who is your target? Wait, um, can I was gonna wait. target Lizard Curse One, but okay, then I guess can I he... could also do. Can he right. had an advantage because like Bullet is a living thing. No. It's actively trying to be wait, thrown. Wait, wait, wait. Do I still have the technique boost? Oh, you have a seven. Still misses. Oh. Uh, <laughs> um. Okay, I'll give you an extra d4 because of bullet. So you need a get uh, okay. higher. You need you hit him. Just roll it okay. anyways. Yeah, Two. you hit him. So you oh, launch nice. bullet. Do the damage. What are you doing? If you got on that one there, I would what have cried. Doing? What do you mean? Uh, drop kicking, kicking. How are you chucking it? Um, gonna 
Can we just chuck it? Yes. If that this would be, uh, yeah, I guess I should. I, mean, I don't know. It. Yeah, okay. Uh, B six in technique. Six in technique. Holy God! You. Oh no. That's huh? not a control check. Never mind. You do sixteen plus three. Plus three, you do 24 damage? Wait, where did all that buff come from? Uh, kick is technique plus your technique level. Okay. So you have 24. Okay, wanna... so what I'm hearing is that Mr. is that Jesse's better with my Shikigamis okay, than I so am. Okay, so do Goku. you want to add curse energy to it? No, I think it's overkill as it is. Okay. You could black flash. Oh. Can I? Yeah. If you crit on a control check, you black flash. Alright, I'll try that then. Go for it. You get plus three, so. 3d6. Uh, what? 3d6. Controls technique, so 3d6. You do not. Nine. You succeed, so you get an extra d4. Which, who cares, because it's dead. Yeah. So how do you want to free. kill this thing as bullet launches towards it? Um, let's flat it, explode it, I guess. It just goes right through it as both bullets. Oh. It yeah. Blows up, and bullet also, as it goes through it, it kind of turns back to you, and it blinks its eye, and then it blows up, and you see a single tear fall from its eye as it also disintegrates. Sorry. All right. Um, that would be Fuyu. You're up. Yep. Time for me to just. I guess it's time to keep swinging. I'm gonna just <laughs> rush on over there to Lizard Curse Two and just start punching it. All right. Roll to hit. Well, what are you doing? That does not hit. I'm gonna. Yeah, because I don't. I don't think even with the targeted strike, that which it, which even then I didn't. Even, yeah, yeah, never. Yeah. Well, that doesn't. Well, just I just since it is a power type move, you have to roll power, which is your power level in d6. Yeah. So uh, yeah, no, I missed. Okay, so you go in. It sees it coming, and it just jumps over your punch. All right, back at the top. Jesse, you're up again. Ready. Um, what should I do? Uh, whatever. Yes. These fly heads are still kind of buzzing around a bit. One cares All right, about I'll them. leave the big guy for for you. Okay, go ahead. Wait, they come up here? No, they're uh, right here. Okay, um... I'm just gonna throw one of the flyheads at the other. Okay, or you could just go up and soccer kick them. Oh yeah, I'll just drop kick one of okay. them into the other. Uh, 3D yeah. six technique. Fourteen. You. Okay. Go for it. Roll drop kick. Yep. Slam one of them into the other with the drop kick. Or roll damage now? Yeah, roll damage. Okay. Oh, four. Is that dropkick? That's dropkick. Oh, uh, wait. Is it? Yeah, it's d4. Oh, my bad. Eight. That is eight plus in total six, so you got. Uh, you got 14 damage. Alright. I have a question. Um... Yeah? What's my stat boost from my curse technique right now? Plus three, because you haven't taken right. any other damage. Alright, that's how it works. Yeah, go on. Okay, so, uh, you grab one of these things, it launches into each other, their heads bonk onto each other, and they just die. Why are you not... Right. They both disintegrate. Okay. 
Fair. All right. Uh, Lizard Curse 2, Felix, it is going to try to bite you. Uh, not Felix, Fuyu. Yep. This is five hit. Yeah, kind of hard to bite, Felix. Yep, yeah, that's my exact armor class. Exact armor? So that hits. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, six damage. Yeah, I've managed to once again do the very usual and very, very highly anticipated blocking. Okay, <laughs> We're, I'm going to have to read up on blocking. So, yeah. you throw up your curse energy, it slashes off of you, and it does nothing. Where is Felix going? Get back inside. Where's he going? <laughs> okay. Uh, you completely block it. It does no damage. Uh, it's your turn then. Unless Felix wants to do anything. <laughs> Felix cries. Okay. Lightly. You're up, Fuyu. Finish this fight. Yep. Please. I'm... <laughs> it's been going on. I'm gonna for... do my best. This is an hour. I wasn't anticipating this to be an hour. Oh my god. <laughs> Please tell me it's seven hits. You miss. Please tell me it's It's eight. <laughs> Alright, you're up. Wait. Finish ah. it. Uh, wait. I like wait, it with Felix. Whoa, 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 hold up, what? Felix returns. Okay. He's Walk gonna in. pull an oblivion guard and just say, Why won't you die? He's, he failed the check. She Didn't walk in, bang. Energy. It bounces off. Oh, <laughs> then you just leave. All right, Jesse, like you're up. Bad. Fucking. I'm currently how many, crying. How many things so have I killed at this point? Almost all. You like you all of them? <laughs> what? A whole, okay, hold up. So this song is a song. Uh, Justin wanted it to be Felix's theme song. And it played right as soon no. as he misses. The vital shot. Go! I, uh, I'm true. This song is deep. Alright. Alright, All right, your turn. Here. 3d6. And power, yep. 14. Or you hit. Now damage. I'll do it. Rob. I'll do it. Roundhouse kick. Okay. 3d6. Yeah. No. Uh, that's 15 because of the plus 6 to your stuff. Mm -hmm. So, um, you kill this thing. How do you want to take it out? Yep. Yeah, um, I'll just. Roundhouse kick on top of its head directly. Alright, it smushes, its put guts blow everywhere, and then it slowly begins to disintegrate. The battle, right. after so long, is done. Mostly because Jesse was the only one that doing anything. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad. You're... No, it's good. Okay. Just like, who you is very disappointed in his... Like Fuyu is very disappointed in his lack of per in his sub in his barely even subpar performance. What the hell? Um, I still have damage to take. Um, oh yeah! In. After this fight, uh, the fight's over. You kind of calm down a bit, Jesse, and then you suddenly gashes on your stomach begin to open as you take the remaining d six, the remaining six damage that was left over. Yeah, and I lift my boost. And you not lose your boost, so that. you are down to not 113. You're down to 13 health. All right. Um, okay. Miss Fuyu walks over in Inari, walks over and says, Amazing, everybody, please step outside. Don't patronize me, woman. <laughs> All right. And then you see as you are stepping out that she is holding... Uh, I meant over here, towards me. Huh? Alright. 
Now, you notice as you walk up to her that she is holding a clipboard. And in her clipboard, she says, Well, from watching you all, I the reason we did this was to judge your skill level and what grade level you would be at, essentially. And from this, I can tell that Felix, Jesse, and Fuyu, you all are currently to be continued. And we'll figure out what grade level you guys are mm -hmm. next time. 